We play and call it work. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to our first episode of Blue Collar Heresy. I am very excited for this. This is our first ever role-playing game show. And I have with us everybody. Everybody wave. Yay! We've got Josh and Steve and Luca and Dave and Quirk who will be the unfortunate adventures, adventurers <laughs> in this adventure. So if you're unfamiliar with what Blue Collar Heresy is, Blue Collar Heresy is our Dark Heresy campaign, but instead of playing awesome <coughs> acolytes to an Inquisitor, who are already having a hard enough time surviving in the 41st millennium, these fellows here are going to be playing nobodies. Blue Collar workers at a factory, and it at the, it's still on Hive Desoleum, which is the hive in Dark, uh, Dark Heresy. It's one of the locations there. But they're just nobodies, and we're gonna go. We're gonna talk about their characters in just a minute. And so, a big shout out, of course, to our backers for our Indiegogo campaign. We held an Indiegogo campaign for this, and the reason this entire campaign is free for you to view is because of those backers. So, thank you, backers, for helping us make this a, a realization, or to make this dream a realization, or whatever I'm trying to say. And we actually spent a lot of money on equipment and on resources to try to make this as awesome as possible. If you are one of the backers who gets access to this early, then we need your feedback. We're going to be giving you the raw, unedited version. So the feedback that we're looking for is how it sounds, how it looks, and then even some ideas for the story as well. If you're, you see how it's going and you're like, oh, it'd be really cool if, or anything, any kind of feedback that you want. If you are not one of the backers and you're watching this a few months after we've actually recorded it, you're welcome to leave comments and feedback, but by then we'll already have filmed pretty much the entire thing, so we won't be able to take any of that into consideration for this campaign. But we do plan on doing more role-playing game shows like this one, and who knows what systems we'll cover. If this turns out to be popular and you like it, then we'll definitely make more of them. Of course, we're new to the setup that we're doing here, and so hopefully over time we'll be able to perfect the sound, the visuals, and the stories, everything else like that. So, let me set the stage as to our adventure, and then we'll actually go through our five adventurers here. Adventurers, I say. Our five nobodies. They're, they're, not, they're, they're not heroes. They're really not heroes. They're, they're nobodies. They may, if they survive long enough, develop to become heroes. But right off the bat, they're, 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 they've got some interesting things about them. But um, all it would take is a solid auto-pistol shot, and they'd be done. And that, that'd be it. That's really all it would take. So let's talk about Hive Desolium first off. For those of you who are not familiar with it, it's, uh, it's actually developed quite well in Dark Heresy 2nd Edition. Where that's what we're using for this, Dark Heresy 2nd Edition, which is no longer in print, so good luck finding it. You can get the PDF online. Um, but uh, they have, uh, the, the world of Desolium has over 300 billion people. They actually don't know exactly how many because like every other, every other place in the Imperium, the bureaucracy of it all has made things very inefficient. Um, so this this... It's a wonderful place for the 41st millennium. Of course, by that I mean it's horrible. And let me just read a little bit of a preamble to this. Desolium is a planet dominated by three enormous hive cities, into each of which a population of dozens of billions is crammed. Though accurate counts are impossible to undertake, and the true figure is likely to be several times greater. The planet's preeminent hive city is the eponymous, ep eponymous, eponym I don't know what that word is, Desolium. Desolium Primus <laughs> is where we'll be based. Sometimes called Desolium Primus or colloquial elsewhere as Prime. So this is where you guys are right now. The triad of hives, Desolium, Jarvan, and Suzum, the latter two named for the, the nigh legendary figures said to have founded them, account for the bulk of the industry of the planet, while countless lesser hives and manufactorums are to be found throughout the wastes. This is huge. It's such it's unfathomable, really. Like, how many people are in this world? Seven billion. What's the current count? Seven something billion. Seven. Yeah. This is three hundred plus billion. Like, people are complaining about overpopulation here. Three hundred billion. That's that's way more than we have. That's like 40, 50 times more. Oh, we're in Canada. Nobody's complaining about that here. Not either. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But imagine everybody being forced to live up in the northern parts of Canada. Mm. So that that would be nobody that wants would, to go there. Nobody wants to go there. Yeah. <laughs> 
I heard it's cold. <laughs> so the, the planet's surface is barren in the extreme and apparently once hosted a Xeno species. Savants, or savants, disagree over <laughs> details about the race, but look to the... <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Got it. But look to the blasted landscapes of liquefied sand and hundreds of bizarre cy cyclopean structures seemingly sculpted from the kernels of long vanished mountains. As evidence, it destroyed itself with terrifyingly potent weaponry. So I don't think there are Necrons here, but who knows? There could always be Necrons. There's always Necrons. There's always Necrons. Uh, hopefully safely long extinct. The destruction dates back many millions of years, when large expanses of the world's outer crust were subject to such terrific heat that the mountains themselves ran liquid before cooling to glass-like plains of exceptional, if mildly radioactive, purity. <laughs> Much of the glass now exists as a subterranean layer beneath drifting silicate deserts. When the first settlers made planetfall and discovered this rich resource, they recognized its value instantly and established what is generally held to be the second of the founding worlds. So this is actually a pretty old world. For many thousands of years, the glass of Desilium has driven an industry that produces a wide, ra wide range of derivatives, especially the sector-renowned Last Weapon Focusing Lenses. Ah. That's right, an entire world designated to making oh. the focusing lens of a last gun. To talk about, what is that, what do we call it, diversity in a... It's just so... Stratification, talk about so. stratification. Isn't that crazy? Like the, just primary, so insignificant. the primary out. <laughs> it's like it's like the last guns of like several sectors around. Their their lenses were made. Like there's like a factory we here in Welland that makes like the Don't rubber we... part of the inside of the door of a car. And that seemed like those stratification. This is this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like three hundred billion people supporting the production of a focusing lens. Somebody's got to make them, man. Yeah, somebody. And then is that you know how many last guns there are out there, right? And how many they keep losing. Because they're just given to guards. Yeah, the guard's man. terrible. Yeah, the guard's horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you look at Josh when you said that? I don't know. Thank you. As its population <laughs> soared and the hives grew, a secondary industry, this is one that's really important to you guys, processing ration supplements, which doesn't adequately describe them, which we'll get to, <laughs> has developed over the millennia. Bulk organics harvested from the seas of other worlds are imported and rendered into thick, protein-rich gruel that is... If you were lucky, you would get to eat. <laughs> I add that in. But you don't get to eat that. No. Instead, it is fed to the larva of the Irokian bile fly, which is native to this planet. Having reached the optimal stage in their life cycle, the larva are pulped, which is your job, compressed, which is your job, and shaped into notoriously greasy and universally, I should say nigh universally loathed, so we have one amongst our midst, which is one of those few people who enjoys these rations. Ration biscuits used to feed workers, serfs, and military forces across the sector. So you guys produce the horrible, 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 horrible rations that everybody else has to then eat. So you get the awesome last gun focusing lenses and their awful food. That's what you guys contribute to society. Truly loved. It Truly is, loved. <laughs> it is the candy corner rations. Yeah, we'll just do our the, part. Candy the candy corner, corner rations. <laughs> the processing plants where these ration bars are manufactured, where all of you work, which we'll get into, consists of gigantic air-sealed breeding pens thick with countless trillions of larvae. Each of the planet's hives has its own facility, usually located at the very lowest habit habitable level of its structure. Needless to say, only the very poorest and most downtrodden of serfs are willing to work or live near to these facilities. Oh. <laughs> That's where you guys are. I, I you're not, hopes, even, you're not even like the nobodies. You're like below the nobodies. High hopes. You're like, the, at, least the people in the, here. at least the people in the underhive would be like, we're part of a gang. We're special. Like, no, no, sorry. You guys the bacteria the on the pond scum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're below the pond scum. You wish you were the pond scum. Needless to say, only the very poorest. Oh, I already read that. Um, for the levels all about are steeped in the vilest of stenches and vibrate with the constant drone of the creatures bred within. Oh, happy place. If, you have, if you're new to Warhammer 40k, uh, it is called a grim dark future. Like, dystopian doesn't even quite give it the, the emphasis of how not a nice place it is. No live. hope. It's just very little hope. <clears throat> and the rich live in what we would determine to be awful, polluted states. But uh, anyways, the, the, other, the other thing that I want to add on to this is that uh, because of the disgusting nature of all of this there's they've always there's always been problems in Desilium primus with the outbreak of disease and sickness and uh, many people attribute that to the horrible working conditions that you guys live in and so you've seen this all as workers you've seen people fall ill 
Uh, maybe they got cut, and who knows? Maybe some of that larva stuff got in them, and it just—it seems to then get bad. But you're not—you're not 100% you're not sure what causes the diseases. But there seems to be a a good pattern of people working at the factory having that. In fact, we have some people with their backgrounds where they've lost people because of that, which we'll get into. And so there's there's these frequent breakouts of these diseases. So it's kind of part of your life, which is uh, which is not very fun. And so now we're going to introduce our player characters, our PCs. Uh, I'll give a little introduction and then I want each of you to talk a bit about your character for the audience. So these five gentlemen all know each other. They actually work together, even though this factory employs probably tens of millions of people of just one factory, they all happen to work in the same area. And I say happen to, like we, we're just, we basically looked at it and grabbed the story of these five people. So it's not just a coincidence, it's just that's why we're telling their story. They also live together, not quite in the same room, but in the same hab block. Um, they, you, you take the mag train to work. The mag train takes about four hours to get to work at incredibly high speeds. <gasps> yeah. What was wrong? You don't like the mag train? It's just the commute. That What a disappointing life. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's a four hour commute, but you have like, often you get 12. It's a one way. <laughs> yeah, four hours one way. <laughs> oh, and that's a high speed mag train too. Like a hive city. It's just <laughs> right into it. It's huge. It's huge. A hive city could be like the size of the United States of America. Like, so think of like traveling from one side of it to the other on a train. That's essentially your commute. And, it's, and it, we're going to talk about the train. We're, we're actually going to we're going to set the scene on the train to work after we've done everything. So you get to really get to know the train. Um, so yeah, it's a high speed mag train that's uh, rickety that gets there. You all set your designated seats now on Desilium. Uh, I'm not going to get into too many details. You can always download the PDF and learn more about Desilium yourself. But everybody, it's a it's it has an interesting thing called oath cogs. That everybody wears these cogs. I want to enunciate that. Um, actually, that. dictate what it is that you're supposed to do, where you're supposed to be. It's kind of like an access key. It's like it, you you live here, so this cog will open up the building. You're allowed to you work here, so the cog will give you access to the train to get to work. But it also dictates what it is you're supposed to do. Even the beggars will have a cog that says where they're allowed to beg. And there are sanctionaries whose main job it is is to go around and be rules lawyers make sure everybody does what they have. And they have bigger cogs, because they're more important, which they use to beat people if they're not doing what they're supposed to. And so like a supervisor's cog would also contain the cogs of people at work for him. So, you having a hard time? <laughs> it's just, every time you enunciate it. <laughs> I enunciated it really well. Uh, and, and, then, and then his supervisor has an even bigger one, and it goes on. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I'm a it's child, I'm sorry. It's so mature. <laughs> Until the, the governor, um, she has one that's like the size of <laughs> You guys are... Stop it! <laughs> Just can you Hers imagine how ludicrous that image is, though? Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways. And like the flavor flav, well, like, like the clock <laughs> around the neck, right? Yeah, like, like think of, I think of it like this like gear works, like the, all these little gears all put together. It's like a little microcomputer that tells you what your job is and where you're supposed to be. <laughs> And uh, so that's important to our story because, as we'll find out, that, that, that that's a big deal. Now, the hab block that you guys live in is hab block Dolorin Tertiary Cognus Minarius, or uh, DTCM for short. So you can write that down. It's something that you know, so you can ask me any time and I'll tell you the name of it. It's a rundown, multi story building embedded directly underneath a large mag train that rumbles the building every few minutes as it goes by at supersonic speeds. It's a wonderful place. It's a. Uh, just picture like the most desolate, horrible place to live, and you wish you lived there. Sure enough, it's quirk. You sure enough, it's quirk. Yeah. <laughs> and this your your block <laughs> houses roughly 180,000 people in this one block of wow. buildings, most of which work in the biofly factories. So that's one of the few efficiencies they have to actually stick people together, even though they're four, a four-hour high-speed mag train right all away. commute this four-hour. Oh, oh, yeah, the train gosh. holds... The, each train can hold thousands of people, and there's trains <coughs> constantly going over and over and over again. So let's talk about your PCs. Let's go around the room. Um, let's start with Josh. Okay. What's the name of your PC? What does he look like? Tell, so, give us the background. The background here is... The character name is Lured Lobby, uh, former hero of the Imperial Guard. Uh, I was, so he tells everybody. Yes, uh, yeah, retired with uh, honors from the guard uh, after achieving the rank of Tonser Primus. <laughs> Very high end. Uh, I was a personal aide to War Master uh, Makaroth during the Sabbat World uh, Crusade. So very high end stuff here. Uh, 
<laughs> I am uh, 44 years old. My build would ancient. be described as uh, yeah, that's ancient. somewhat similar to an ancient Terran canid. Then I'm a little, maybe a little husky. <laughs> so stocky build, uh, bald, big beard, impressive beard. Absolutely just amazing looking beard. Would you, would you very, well very well trimmed. Very well trimmed. Very well trimmed. Very well trimmed. Actually, this is serious. It's a very, uh, for, for all the grease and grime that you guys get in your hair, and like in your clothes, and it's always hard to get out because you don't even get that much water to wash yourself. For some reason, his is actually well taken care of. It's almost as if I don't do any work ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the opportunity to get it dirty. Uh, I currently work as a uh, janitorial no. engineer. Oh, janitorial. There you go. Yeah. Let's see, you're not your custodial engineer, I thought. Oh, yeah, that would have been a better sounding one. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's Lord Lobby. My but if you character. accidentally call him Lord, he's okay with that. Yeah. Lord with an E. But Lord? Lord. How's that? How's that spelt? L O U R D. Okay. J. Does it matter? J. <laughs> yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. With does a it? Y. With yeah. a Y. With a Y. <laughs> and what, sorry, your so your job is a custodial engineer. Custodial that sounds better than what I said. Yeah, it's a I promoted engineer. myself just now. <laughs> is that a promotion? That is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite part of your job? Uh, you know, all of the the Sweet very man. very high end work that I do, out of line of sight of anybody else. Always working hard. Not needing to be uh, supervised in any way. <laughs> yeah. So you're not in your try role playing? Hmm? <laughs> I thought we had to make up characters. <laughs> <laughs> you just stick with what you know. <laughs> any other details? Uh, nope. That's good? All right. What, what attributes stand out the most? We're not going to go over like numbers and stuff, but what, what are you, you kind of good at? L looking at the characteristics, um, I'm surprisingly good for weapon skill and ballistic skill. Well, you had trading with the yeah, character, no, not right? that strong. Well, hold on, hold on. What do you mean surprisingly? You were like the high up. You that, were, you know, you yeah, know. that's yeah. true. Yeah, even my uh, advanced age, still yeah. better than everybody else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the agility is very high. I'm good at running <laughs> 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 or climbing because they have that's as true. a janitor you ha or sorry, custodial engineer. There's a lot of places you have to climb up to, gantries you have to get across to to usually degrease things. Like normally, when you're trying to like maintain an elevator, you have to keep parts greased. In this factory, it's the opposite problem. you got to decrease things constantly because there's just so much stuff that gets into the air. Uh, and they don't bother filtering yeah. it. So nice you're breathing it. Dust. I'm yeah. not uh, burdened by excessive intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, and the, you're supposed to make <laughs> up a character. <laughs> very, very high perception. You know, tough to sneak up on me, even if it, you know, I'm not fully conscious. <laughs> okay. Hi. 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 All right, awesome. Steve. All right, uh, my guy's name is Tanek Rusev. Now, to describe what I look like, just this picture dwarf with like really bushy, unkempt hair and beard, but also really tall. So a tall dwarf. Yeah. But so like, but, would you say Steve-like? So, like me, but with that beard, but like no beard oil. There's a lot of beard oil. Like that's a lot of beard oil. I know. It's not oil. very nice. <laughs> so it's just it's, it's everywhere. It goes like this. It's long hair. I'm just I'm just, I'm just a mess. Sickly, tall, not overly concerned with my appearance. Nope. And I'm um, actually relatively smart. My job is just um, removing the waste from the what's this place called? The, the, the factory, just the, just the, the factory. rations factory, the I'm pile factory. I'm pulling away. I'm just going to move the garbage and the waste and the leftover parts of the bugs, the, the parts we don't eat. I think, and maybe the antennas. You know, we mash those in and we <laughs> eat those. We <laughs> eat those. We eat those. No, I don't think there are any parts that you don't eat. You more like take care of the garbage of like they're constantly maintaining the machinery, so they're throwing parts away. Old parts. Are trash. you a garbage man? Essentially, I'm a garbage man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like but I, I, I am way, way overqualified to be a garbage man. My guy is actually relatively intelligent. I will find a way to play this. I will, I will fake it, but he's I, I want to really just point smart. out that we had one of the backers, um, which is Kent. Yes. And, and now I'm, you're, you're throwing me off as his last name. So what is your last name? Rusev. So he's Vester. So Kent Vester, because yes. we it's his name backwards, basically, uh, who actually helped to create this character that Steve has graciously accepted to play. And even though he has to play a very, very, very intelligent I'll character. I'll figure it out. So Kent, thank you very much. Uh, he contributed $2,000 to the campaign. So you uh, you helped pay for a lot of this equipment. Justice. <clears throat> yeah, and, and so and so I, I had a long Skype call with Kent, and we developed this character, and then Steve kind of did the rolling and put it on the, all the finishing finishing touches on him mm, to, to figure it out. But yeah, so so continue. So uh, beyond my janitorial duties, uh, that keeps me busy, I guess. Uh, I'm well versed in technology in general. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm way overqualified for my job. I would potentially be in the mechanicum if 
they had known about me or be born a different area. But you know, sometimes you know you're just born in the wrong spot. Can you not take my pencil away? I need that for flipping. Um, I have limited medical knowledge too. I'm not completely. Uh, like I can, I can, I can chop you up a little bit, maybe. I mean, I can put you back together. Why, why do you have this kind of knowledge? You're just a garbage man. How would you acquire such knowledge? Well, uh, it's a good question. See, so I haven't. I, ha- I have. <laughs> I okay, so honestly, I have two paths. I want. I don't know which one I'm going to take yet. One might be a serial killer. <laughs> don't think I'm going to go that way though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Gonna, yeah, so I'm not going to be Dexter. But it'll uh, be for science. I, I you know, <laughs> that? It'll, it'll be for science. Yeah, for science. I have a lab back at home where I, I, I steal parts, or I'm sorry, I borrow parts. Yep. Take him back home. Try to make yeah. parts of what? What do you got? Parts like a uh, people. <laughs> okay. People. Yep. Everything it hurt. I, I'm picking back hands or just cogs and gears and stuff. I'm taking everything back and I'm making little hands that walk around. And stuff that people have thrown out. So yeah. You're not technically stealing, right? You walk by the, the nurse's office. Somebody's getting an arm. Whatever. I'll put in the, put in the, the, the crane. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I can't figure it out. I don't think there's anything wrong with me. <laughs> okay. And you collect, like, thrown away data yep. slates. So yep. you, you, I, collect, I, I, you, you nothing, built up a bit of a library. Nothing is really wasted. I take my garbage truck, and I go through it all. Nothing is truly wasted if I can use it. And then you smuggle it out. Yep. Bring it back home yeah. on that four-hour ride. We all live with <laughs> him? Well, yeah, in the same room. Oh, okay. you, each, you each have your own apartment. Hey, oh, hello, bro. By, by apartment, like, don't, don't, don't think it's too extravagant. It's, like, maybe maybe a room and, like, bunk a bed, place. Bunk beds. And, and a place for you to, like, I don't want to call it a bathroom. I just bathroom, don't wake up one morning. Because that would give the impression that there's, like, I would give there's, you there's more in it than like a hole to, to go to the bathroom in, and maybe like a bit of water to splash in your face. You mean to like, offload excrement? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like a, and call in the bathroom, like a dumping or area, or, or is water it like closet. a trickle down system where like the waste from one area becomes it's the water? The room the can. Area. Yeah, and it goes through a filter, which is just like a really <laughs> wide grate. <laughs> it's like. Oh. <laughs> 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 I live on the top floor. Food <laughs> challenge! <laughs> Sink water's warm today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh you're right, Steve. I think oh, Lord had this point. So Steve Lord actually had tacos. Has managed... <laughs> <laughs> Asparagus. <laughs> so Steve has actually managed to, to uh, set, scavenge enough stuff to make a little bit of a lab. But you get caught and probably killed for that. Mm-hmm. So you've, you've soundproofed it. You've even built your own. You've scratch built your own generator to get your own power. So there's no like, you're not sapping power from the system. You get caught for that. Now, nobody too. knows they got this lab. Well, these guys do. They're nobody's. But so nobody knows. Yeah, but nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, these guys know because you even help out in certain areas. But yeah. yeah, it's definitely on the on the DL, on the down low, and it's all good. Any other things about your character you want to point to point out? It's a very intelligent, very tech savvy, and like, very you probably would have been drafted to the ad Yeah, if they yeah. if they even knew you existed. Yeah, that 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 pretty well covers me. I'm not overly um, tough. Um, or a fighter. Not much of a fighter at all. Yeah. Yeah, just just a smart guy. Just a smart, tall, bushy dwarf. Nice. Okay. Luca. Alright. I'll be playing the character Festus Duberstein. Now uh <laughs> <laughs> frog. It's it's you know what? It this happens a lot. <laughs> I think I'm proud of my name. My I'm love my parents for it. Well, the Duber, the Duberstein has it's good stuff. It's a proud, proud, family. It's a proud family. It's a proud family. Yeah. I don't see what the issue is. I good don't genetic know. stock in the Duberstein. <laughs> so I work at this factory as security. Essentially, it's the day job. I essentially patrol up and down the hallways, making sure people are doing as they should be doing. That's not actually your job, though. No, it's your job is just to make sure people don't steal stuff. Yeah, it's. Wait, you you you've kind of tacked my actual, the extra. My my actual job is to make sure they're not stealing anything. I like I I like to make sure everyone is doing as their cogs say, right? So I'm my actual hub and like my actual love is I'm an aspiring an aspirant for the sanctionaries, right? I my actual title is deputy volunteer sanctionary. Vol- volunteer deputy sanctionary. Volunteer deputy sanctionary. Now this is what I do after work at night. I, I go out in the streets. I I check out people. You know, I, I do as the sanctuaries tell me to do. Sometimes like they, they're not fully aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> or if they are, they just kind of like give you really bad jobs, yeah, or they don't really like you. They don't. They don't. They're not a fan of me. But I make sure I, I check. I do the job for them. I check people's cogs. Make sure they're where they're supposed to be. Beg, you know, all, it's usually beggars. They tend. I tend to the beggars. I have to make sure they're in the the, the proper sections of the city, the factory. 
that kind of thing. I go home, I train a lot when I'm not working for the sanctuaries. And I'm, I've been at this for a while. Actually, you've I'm 31 trying, years you've, old. You've been going for that black belt for a while. Yeah, right? I'm 31 years old. I've probably been doing this for <laughs> 17 years, maybe. <laughs> like, it takes a while to be... some. There's younger sanctionaries than myself. The <clears throat> privilege for them, right? It's just, I've been working harder at this than they have. I'm a little jealous, but I know one day I'll get there. I like to... <laughs> <laughs> So I go home at night, I practice a lot, I train for combat. Not very good at it. I like to imagine I'm good at it. Though I but you have the ultimate weapon. I do. I have actually, at home, I train with this every night. It's a relic katana, right? It's a relic blade. Now, I got this years ago at a, a market, right? It's just... <laughs> That's not what you tell everybody else, though. No, no. It was. It, this is an heirloom handed down from Robot himself to one of his first captains, pre-heresy. Pre heresy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody seems convinced. No one. Hand no one believes. <laughs> Handed down to the Duberstein's. <laughs> yes, yeah, the Duberstein's. My, my great 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 probably more grandmother acquired this. Grandmother. <laughs> 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 for her, for service is rendered. <laughs> no, not like that! Not like that! Come on! What? 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 Not like that! She was a ninja, guys, come on! Oh, no, she was an honorary member of it. She was an Imperial agent. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, guys, guys, guys you Get your minds out of the gutters, guys. <laughs> Alright, so, but what is, now, now, just so the audience knows, it's actually just a sword that doesn't even have a balance quality, right? <sighs> it is it's, just, it's a pretty a crappy sword. like, yeah, it was a cheap too. katana, I, it was a totally legit flea market, a totally legit merchant I got this off of. But you don't tell anybody that. I don't tell anybody that. I just thought the audience would like to know that, so they don't think I started with an actual relic blade. No, I have no relic <laughs> I have uh, unbalanced katana. It unba yeah, it's literally unbalanced. Its trait is not balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to put that I do out. have training in said katana, though. Of course. Yes. You practice for many nights. Yes. So I practice with this katana every night. Uh, I also have training in my standard issued shock baton, which is not quite a shock maul. It's a nowhere near a shock. Not even close to a shock maul. It's actually a, a, a lower quality maul that I use to uphold justice in the manufacturing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even have the full shocking ability. It has like minor shocking. Actually, yeah, it's uh, literally minor shocking. Yeah. Because yep. because shocking can actually stun somebody. Yeah, None of that. Yours just drops the fatigue <laughs> it's, it's, a little bit. It's, it's like a weak, I don't know, teaser. <laughs> no, it's it's. I wish. <laughs> <Just Yeah. like laughs> that. Awesome. Anything else about your character? Who? <clears throat> you have a pet at home, don't you? I do. <laughs> Holy crap! I do. Yeah. What is this pet? Tell me about this. pet. It's a smelt rat. So it's essentially what would be a cat. On it. <laughs> it's essentially a cat, but it's it's a rodent. Er, Oh, how to explain the smelt rat? It's essentially, it had, some of them have augments. Mine doesn't. It's just got like these weird boils all over it, and it's kind of like missing some fur here and there. So it, it, rough. It's rough, <laughs> and it's Mister Business, the smelt rat. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. He's my my main company at home, right? If I'm training, Mister Business is always there watching me train. I can't focus without. Well, I should call him Splinter then. I should have. Mr. Jitsu. Business kind of jumped at me right away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like literally? No. No, not literally jumped at me. My trusted smelt rat. So smelt rats are actually a thing in Desleum that nobody knows where they come from, but they're actual rats or something that's rat-like. Then they usually have some sort of mechanical augments. Like yeah. this, this arm's been replaced. And so there's some guy <laughs> down below in the underhive who's like tinkering with these things because they can actually form together in swarms. <laughs> it might be him. I ain't taking a ride. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they can actually like transform together and turn into rat kings, where they become like these enormous creatures that just you know, interlock. That horrifying. So, but awesome. yours, but yours is tame, or at least some. I've had it for years. You've had it for. It's domesticated. It's it actually is loyal to you, and it doesn't actually have any augments. But it's, or maybe it used to, and he took care of that, and he didn't realize. Who knows? Or maybe they're internal, and we just haven't found them yet. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, so that is uh, Festus. Festus of Duben the Duber Duberstein. Duberstein. Sorry, Duberstein. Not Duben. Duben sounds good. Duberstein. Duberstein family. Thank Probably. you, dude. Your character is awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> he sure is. He's, He's something. something. <laughs> Dave, we never came up with a name for your character. Oh, I have a name. Price. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. Dave. Duberstein, name me. 
<laughs> what's your What's your name? All right, so I am Price Pringle, and I'm a scooper. And uh, on the assembly line, a little bit down from uh, my good buddy uh, Kanto, Ka Kanto uh, I scoop the the uh, biofly mash into whatever people want, and I like everyone. I'm a people person, and uh, I'm kind of big, but I like that about myself because. The big guys are is, is the, the sweat that goes into the bile, and it all kind of mixes in, and it serenades. And uh, I love your face right now. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I kind of, um, I have this dream of, uh, it's kind of a romantic dream of, uh, uh, that there's this certain, certain uh, uh, woman that I, I dream about, and, and she's, a, she's an angel. Very, and I like to buy her presents, so that's why I work really hard. <clears throat> but I have a confession to make. I I kind of eat a little bit of the, the mash, <laughs> so um, I'm a little bit addicted to it. This is this is so, pre-packaged, so, so you, you get like the raw it's, concentrate. It's raw. Stuff. It's like in its pure concentrate form. So a little bit for you. What part? What part of the larva do you think is your favorite? Um, uh, I would say probably either the brain. Um, oh, the very little brain, probably, right? Maybe the wings? Yeah, the wings. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, because, like, the fairy, right? So, yeah. yeah. Oh, the crunch from <laughs> Yeah, it's like chicken skin. Yeah, chicken skin. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, yeah. really. <laughs> I like to exfoliate with it. Ooh wee! <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to switch seats real quick? <laughs> I like Ryan. I do. Yeah, okay, so yeah, so you're a big guy. You're jovial. You're very friendly. Everybody likes him. And then, by the way, you all know each other. Yeah, and somewhat tolerate each other. Or in his case, actually like him, because it's, it's not the like, right? What? Okay, you, you told us about your constitution. You're your big guy. You actually have some really good toughness. I am kind of inadvertently tough, just because there's so much of me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the, it works well. It works well for me. And people like to put me first in situations. I don't know if they're being nice. Maybe they are. Maybe it's because uh, I big shield. <laughs> probably survive longer. <laughs> uh, what about what about like your facial features? I haven't talked about your hair, facial hair. Um, I don't have hair. Oh, um, yeah. Same. Yeah. Jeez, you can't think of it. I, I, I like to. It's easier to grease the head. Do you just like <laughs> you polish it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think of my head as like a beacon of happiness. More to exfoliate. <laughs> <laughs> Any facial hair? Uh, no. No? So just bear. Just, oh a, just, just a bear. It's like a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> bear baby bottom. Big baby face. So like no chest hair? Like no, you're, you're I'm like... kind of uh, like 99% hairless. Okay. <laughs> where's, the, ask... where's the one percent? <laughs> Don't ask the question. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Don't ask the question. <laughs> he gives me the smile. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's all in his nose. That's what we'll say. <laughs> hey, it makes it so odor is not locked in, so people don't mind being around me, even though I'm a big guy who sweats all the time. That's gross. You're gross. <laughs> That's <laughs> gross. That's gross. You're you're gross. gross way to live. <laughs> so yeah, so so your character is actually pretty charming. Uh, you, you're, you're decent. Yeah, he dad. actually is. You, you, were, you were once one of, once upon a time you were an aspiring actor. That didn't really go that far, but you did learn some skills from doing that. I did. I learned how to cook while being an aspiring actor. Yeah. Yeah. And even like the deceived skill, you got that up, so you can you're able to. That's right. Yeah. So you're basically really high fellowship, really good acting, really good charismatic kind of stuff. I have spices in my pockets. I like to add them to things. Yeah. A little bit of the mash. Is it like? Like stuff off the back of his rat, rat. He just kind of like. I like it when you bring your uh, Mister Business to work. <laughs> Mister uh, Business, because he, he leaves little fuzzies everywhere. <laughs> I oh, pictured. I, I collect them up. <laughs> Honestly, I just pictured you shirtless. <laughs> why would you yeah. work at this? Like, why not? Right? It, wouldn't, it wouldn't make much of a difference if I was shirtless or just not. Just hit Mister Fuzzy shirtless. What are you? Doing? <laughs> no, no, Mister Business is not Mister. Not Mister Fuzzy. What is that? I don't learn people's names. Can I please yeah. switch brains? <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're staying there. All right, and that brings us finally to Quirk. Quirk, tell us about Kanto. I am Kanto Samuelson. I almost messed up my own name. And I am a worker at the factory. It is my job to squish bugs. So you are a masher. We've I'm actually a masher. come up with an official title period. It's masher and scooper. Nice. Yeah, so they're, they're like, 
you, you basically hold on to these two things. It's like... Yeah. Mm. I'm really good upper body strength. Yeah. It looks like I skip leg day almost all the time. <laughs> um, I have an average build, but because there's all these machines around me, I don't like having long hair, and I don't trust other people to cut my hair, so I just kind of do it myself. But I'm also very uncoordinated, so it's it looks kind of like this. So... Mm. <laughs> 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 Show me again. Nope. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little bit salty with the company. Like, imagine a bowl of salt, and then me in the middle of it. That's how salty I am with this company. Um, Why? And, Why are you salty? Well, uh, I, I had faith in the company for a little while, and was very happy with them, you know, paying wages and providing food and making everybody happy. And then, uh, well, my sister got very ill. And, uh, well, I, I forged some papers and said that she died, but she's still in my apartment, very ill. Not, uh, not doing too well. But me and all my infinite wisdom by signing the paper saying that she died, we don't get rations for her no more. <laughs> so, kind of like, on my own time. Now why would you fake her death? Why not just report it Cause get I, her treated? I saw what happened to my parents, and they they died, and then uh, they got thrown into the vat with all the larvae. All and, the bodies uh, gone. Welcome back to 40k. <laughs> Welcome back to the Grim Dark, everybody. Let him play with Larva did business. taste weird that day. Yeah. yeah. I'll talk yeah. more about yeah. Mr. Business later. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're Mr. Business. Yeah, because your parents actually they actually got the disease as well. They did. as your sister, and you thought that they would be treated, but instead they were euthanized. They yeah. So I don't know what that word means, but they became the bug food. They were put down. They were put down. We ate them. Uh, yeah. That's so much sadder. <laughs> yeah. I like the word you And so you thought they'd be taken care of. So as soon as your yep. sister got the same disease, you're like, I know what's I, I know what's I know what's up. So I'm gonna sign the papers and say that she she died, she passed away, and don't worry, I took care of the Looks oh, like she fell off something yeah. and, and just died. You can't she's find a body anywhere. Yeah, she's out. Uh but she's not. So she's how do you provide home. for her then? Uh I steal. But I'm really not very good at stealing. <laughs> I just started doing this. She just recently got sick about six months ago, so I've Slowly learned my way around the area and kind of sneaking out at night, sneaking out at night, finding some rations. Uh, I got to deal with a couple rats every now and then, so I got my my trusty little club. I call her Lucy, and uh, she helps me. You know, the wha rat whacker. She, she's Lucy, the rat whacker. <laughs> what was your name again, Quirk? Sorry. Canto Samuelson. See, I've tried to report Canto multiple times <laughs> to my superiors. I've never caught him stealing. I know he does it, though. <laughs> I am sneaky. <laughs> he is my least favorite of the group. <laughs> your superior named Michael? <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Anything else about your character that's interesting? Uh, I have an average build. I'm very small, which means I'm able to kind of get around. But I got so you're average or you're very small. I'm I'm average. Okay. But like I'm not I'm not like these two. You know, not a giant dwarf are you? I'm not a giant dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> what so, are you good at? Uh, I have pretty good weapon skill because you know I've gotten used to swinging Lucy around. Um, I got. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, pretty strong from doing all the, the crushing. <laughs> pretty tough because I keep uh, you know. Around, around the machines and running around all the time, so uh, I'm not very good at perception. I don't. I don't. Who is these days, bro? Very well. Me. But I'm pretty smart. Good at lying to people. And, I think and you know the areas really well. Yeah. Much yeah. better than everybody else. So you actually are. You're skilled to navigate. Yeah. You're higher level, lower Desolian Primus than everybody yeah. else. So I have a little you bit, know the area. I'm a little bit athletic, so I can I can hardcore parkour around a bit. <laughs> nice. Hardcore parkour. Anything else about your character that's interesting? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Any any equipment that you have that's interesting? Not that I need to tell anybody about. Okay. Right. So you're good buddy to neck your, uh, I know about this. <laughs> what, are you, what are you out over there? So I've, I've been helping keep his sister alive yeah. with my limited medical knowledge. And I learned a little bit of medical knowledge from him, so. Yeah, but you're, you're second level and he's first level in Medicaid because of that. So yeah, I think I think you're all aware of his sister. Yeah. That, that's a secret that he's told you all. And so even though you've been trying to report him, <laughs> you no. still you still like feel a little bit because you're like if he ever gets caught, maybe you haven't tried hard enough because you know if he gets caught, then his sister all of a sudden is yep. not getting taken care of anymore. This one I do feel I sympathize. Well, I don't sympathize. I I just understand. You tolerate. It's, I tolerate. Yeah. Tolerate. Yeah. That's I think tolerate is the right <laughs> word. I Great. appreciate your tolerance. Really <laughs> yeah, really yeah. yeah. There's those there's those moments where you're like, oh, I like him, even though he's Dwight. a ludicrous jerk all the time. Okay, anything else for the preamble for all your characters? Any other any other interesting relationships between you guys? I like that word. I have a green tinge to my preamble. 
What's that? You have a what? I have a green tinge to my skin. Y'all think it's kind of weird? I can deal with it. It's cool. You, you do. Though. Yeah, you actually do. <laughs> we do think it's weird. We do. <laughs> oh, you were in character when you said that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Everybody's mean. Everybody's mean. <laughs> I know this. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You guys are mean. <laughs> <laughs> you made your mean roll. Um, a little bit more of a background before we set the first scene is um, that it's you know you work long shifts, so life is hard, and you you've all kind of learned how to deal with it in your own way. But um, as of late, I'd say probably in the past few months, um, maybe even longer for some of you, you've been having a, a bit more sleeping problems. And so, you know, this concerns all of you a bit. And some of you are worse than others. Some of you, it's, it's much worse. And sometimes you even have nightmares. And you're not sure if this is to do with, you know, the things that you've seen happen at the factory or, you know, the pressure of dealing with your, your sick sister. But um, these, these general health issues have, have kind of been a concern of yours. And so, I, you know, it's obviously working at this factory is taking its toll over time. And so yeah, you've, you've, been, you've witnessed many injuries and even many deaths. And this does add up. Now, after one particularly bad night, which individually you've all had, you didn't realize that all of you have had a bad night this one, you, you wake up in a really, really bad sweat, even for you. So I want everybody <laughs> to make an easy, so that's a plus 30 awareness test. So I, I, one other preamble I have to do um, is that Dave is actually brand new to Dark Heresy. The, the rest of the group, we've played Dark Heresy at my house. Dave wasn't able to make those practice sessions, and so... You have to, you know, I'll, I'll be dictating how the rules work, so it's not a big deal. But if you notice Dave asking questions, then that's why. Everybody's pretty new. We're all pretty new to this, but we've played it a few times. So an awareness test. So you have your awareness skill. If you don't know the skill, it's a minus 20. And then I'm, get, I'm giving you a plus 30 bonus on top of that. And if you make it, just tell me if you make it. I don't care about how many degrees of success you make it by. Just if you, do you make it, Luca? Yep. Yep. Festus is uh, aware. Festus is aware. Oh, no. Uh, oh, what? No. 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 What am I supposed to make a awareness test? Oh, wow. Sorry, what was your name? You're lured. 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 I'm going to try to call you guys lured. your names. Lured. And Tanek? I did not make it. Did not make it? Kentel Samuelson is not aware. <laughs> Kentel Samuelson is not aware. Okay. So, when you wake up and you're just in a sweat, you're, you're looking in what a shoddy little mirror that you do have, and you notice a marking on the back of your neck. And the marking looks like this. So nobody else notices this. You can look. It's okay. It's this thing right here. It's uppercase and lowercase t at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. How high is your perception? <laughs> forty. Near forty. Thirty-eight. And do you have you no know awareness? I do. Yeah. So yeah. he didn't had no penalty. So no. If, he, if he didn't have awareness, then he's like 40, 38 up to sixty-eight. I meant in real life. I didn't even notice it was an uppercase and lowercase t. Oh, I see. Wow. Really? <clears throat> now the next thing I want you all to do is you're waking up and you're shaking off these nightmares. I want everybody to make a willpower test, no modifiers, and I need you to tell me how many degrees of success or how many degrees of failure you got with it. Four degrees of failure. Okay. Four degrees of failure. Three degrees of success. Nice. Luca? One oh, degree. Sorry. One uh, degree. Sorry, Festus. Festus? One degree of success. Six degrees of failure. Uh, oh, there's our winner. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, sorry, the opposite. Who had the highest degrees of success? I had three. Oh, wow. Nice. No, never two. mind. Sorry, it was supposed to be the opposite. Who had the most, who failed by the most? Oh. Okay, so let me just make a note here. Uh, Canto. Six degrees of failure? Yeah. All right, thank you. And now I want you all to make an ordinary plus 10 toughness test, but Canto. Mm -hmm. You get a minus 10 to this. So you're actually just uh, challenging plus zero. Everybody else is getting a plus 10 toughness test. And make, keep, take note, if you, if you make it, that's fine. If you fail it, I need to know how many degrees of failure. So did you pass it? Somehow? Eight degrees of failure. Oh. Eight degrees of failure. Oh. <laughs> you're only six. Uh, Josh? I passed. Pass? Eight degrees of failure? I have one degree success. Two degrees success. Awesome. Yeah. What was my test modifier? Plus zero. Plus zero? Uh, three degrees of success. Did the dream scare me to death? <laughs> <laughs> Am I now dead? You're dead now. I heard that. You're dead now. <laughs> no. No, uh, instead, you feel very sick. Everybody else, you feel a little sick. Uh, you're waking up, you feel a little nauseous, but it passes after you kind of 
shake off the dream, but you actually feel quite sick. You're coughing up small amounts of blood. Uh, you feel uh, you feel very nauseous. But the problem is, you know that you still have to go to work. All right. Because the penalty for not going to work is quite severe, and you just you're that gonna have to. Be on my case. Yeah. Like you go to you go to work even though when you're even when you're sick because if you you've got like one sick day in your life, so if you if you miss work more than once, well then you're in uh-huh. trouble. So and even then, that one sick day they're gonna get really mad about. So uh, at the same time, um, some interesting as you're really sick, some weird changes happen to your body as well. Uh, you actually roll a d5. Nope, five. Five. Okay, add that to your toughness. Oh! <laughs> Score! What? I want to fail. Permanently to your toughness. But, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's also taking a toll on your mind. Uh-oh. So you're going to gain D10 insanity. <laughs> Shit. And D10 corruption. Corn <laughs> 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 wants it. Okay. All right, so y'all, you get up in the morning, you, you do your morning ritual. It's a good start. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> <laughs> have your cornflakes now. How do you feel? Covers yet. <laughs> turn, turn zero. <laughs> <laughs> turn zero. I'm done. Yeah, so you're not feeling too good. All right, so Encanto is the one that did the willpower one. All right, interesting. Okay, so we're gonna. Our first scene though is going to be on the train. This is when we can start to have some interaction. Okay, so we're not going to try to figure out everything until you're there. Um. So you guys get into the mag train. You're not. Everybody else pass. Uh, do another awareness test. This one just a uh, plus ten. Festus has sight. Festus saw. Anybody else pass? I passed by one. So I didn't pass. Okay, so the two of you notice that he is sick. So I'm just saying they can bring the conversation. So you guys are walking <laughs> into the train now. Is there anything you want to say in conversation? Okay. Well, I noticed right away that. What is your name again? Tanek. Tanek. All right, Tanek. 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 All right, Tanek here. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. You're looking down. No. <laughs> You're looking weird. No. All right. <laughs> you, cough, just... you cough, and your hand has a little bit of blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I just kind of I do that on purpose. Scamper. <laughs> I scamper backwards, and I don't really put too much more thought in that. I'm like, ah, he's yeah. Let's forget about Tanak. <laughs> I got some extra rations. You want some? I'll take that. Yeah, sure. I'll take them later, though. You don't like them. They're pretty disgusting. I'm wearing. Yeah, it's what you mainly this, eat. This is the mashed up paste, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna save that for later, bud. Uh, I'm wearing a high collar sh- uh, coat. Do you pop the collar? No, I, oh. no, I keep it down. Actually, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Was... Plus two respect for plus your guy. Best is, best is, <laughs> I pop it up, but I keep I keep rubbing the back of my neck. Oh. All right. You were aware of it too that you want to say. I'm just going to straight up ignore him. All right. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so do we so notice you, things now? Yeah, you're you're all together as you're you're basically and filing up on the train right now. And as this conversation happens, now one of the things you do notice is that some of the symptoms that you're coughing up blood is something similar to what oh, your sister has. Oh, uh, buddy. Still going to ignore him. Okay. I just wanted to point that out. I think that's important. I am not panicking. Okay, so you guys get on the train, and you, you sit down, and you get strapped in. The, these things do have restraints, because in the end, they have to have enough safety that you don't all die every day, because that would be very inefficient, and even even they want you to stay alive. Like, they, they give last guns to Imperial Guardsmen, right? Yeah. Like, as much as they treat them like just living ammunition, they still give them enough to uh, stay alive. Take offense to that. Yeah, yeah, you should, because you're still alive for some reason. It's weird. You think you'd, you wouldn't have lasted at 44 if you were... I was just that good. You're just that good, yeah, yeah. Strange. Just, just odd. That's all I'm trying to say. So you guys all get in there. You strap in, and even though the straps are rusty, and uh, the whole thing is rickety. It's just, it's an enormous train. Like, think of the the biggest plane you've ever been on for how wide it is, and now like quadruple the width of that. This thing holds thousands of people. Each train <laughs> files on. Yeah, everybody just packs on, and you all have your designated seats, <laughs> which you all sit down in. Now you're a little nauseous, so you sit in the wrong seat. Oh, crud, I hate when you do that. So you sit down in the wrong seat. So I, uh, I, 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 cool. I, 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 I tap on you. What up? Go back to your seat. That's not your seat, right? You gotta. Where's my seat? I point to where your seat is. I know where your seat is. You go over there. I'll right, sit in my proper chair then. Okay. okay. All right. There we go. And then who sits in your seat? Is a guy you know. His name is Arturo. Uh, he's he's actually uh, he's he's kind of he's a jovial guy too, much like you, um, but he's not a big guy like you. 
Uh, and he, he's kind of, he's optimistic regardless of the state of things. He works at the factory as well. He's got this big mustache that's cool. filled with flecks of greasy rations. That, <laughs> that he's actually currently eating one. He's just like chomping down on one. He doesn't like him either. But I he's want always, one of those so bad. Yeah, he's actually a masher, just like uh, just like Canto. We'll get these names by the end. Yeah. Um, he's wearing these work overalls, and the, which is basically the uniform of the mashers. He's got his oath cog hanging around his neck by a rusty chain. And so he sits down, and he's like, hey guys, how's this going? It's Arturo, you all know Arturo. Yeah. So hey, how's it going, guys? I refuse to talk to him. You do? Not refuse, I just choose not to. Okay. Hey, Arturo! Hey, how's it going? Can I grab one of those flex? <laughs> yeah, it's all yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you throw up more blood? <laughs> what was your name again? Price. Price. That's right, Price. Yeah, Price, yeah, it's all yours, it's all yours. Oh, this another day. Another day on the mag train. And the thing starts to go, you're... <laughs> and it just takes off. <laughs> it's like an old wooden roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> <It's like laughs> you got four hours of this. Oh, you no! <laughs> <laughs> Why? This just sucks so bad. <laughs> Why is the commute to this the worst commute? Like, who do you want to be on? Because when he gets there, he loves his job. Oh, <laughs> he's security, man. He uh. loves it. He loves his job. It's a horrible job, but he loves it. It's four hours less to get your job, right? It's like yeah. sitting in a massage chair. <laughs> uh. He's like, oh. And he's just like, your passengers just ever break their neck on this four hour commute? <laughs> like, what's going on here? So as you're going through, like, there's there's servo skulls that kind of whiz by, and they're, they're everybody, everybody else is, most people are just kind of looking like this. As you're being, they're, they're all just kind of downtrodden. The only thing that's kept you guys from being totally miserable is the fact that you actually kind of have some sort of friendship amongst each other, even if it's a love-hate friendship in some ways. I can't even read a book, man. Uh, and as you're going along, he, Arturo's, he's very chatty. He's very chatty, so. And, and he's going along, as he looks up, and you can actually see a servitor kind of crawling on the outside of one of the, the trains, and it's like performing a repair. It's just five meters away from you, because there's like this piece of metal that's. <laughs> and you can see it like trying to weld it together. It's like... It doesn't really phase you, though, because this is quite typical for them literally not to stop the trains to repair them. They just repair, oh, there's something wrong with the train. Oh, I'll just keep it going and. Have a servitor try to crawl to the spot that they need to fix. If we lose a car, oh well. It's, only... it's the epitome of efficiency. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? And as it's, as it's repairing, all of a sudden you hear something from ahead, this big clank, and a big piece of metal just flies off, and boom! The servitor just goes flying. Oh just, my god. It's gone. And you're all just like, so how's it going, Arturo? Like, Arturo just continues <laughs> talking. This doesn't phase any of you. This is like, yeah. this is your daily commute. Just, as the metal is just rattling, and you just kind of look over, and you're like, huh. The thought crosses your mind of, I hope that doesn't rip off and suck us all out because the air will be just going by so fast that you got your restraints, but you're not sure if they'll actually hold. And so you're heading along, and he's just jabbering along. <laughs> you holy man. <laughs> just want to make it to work, man. <laughs> and he's going on, and he's like, oh, I, you know, as optimistic as I usually am, as this is moving along, he's like, I have noticed that there's been a lot more, uh, a lot more sickness at work recently. Have you guys? Has anybody noticed that? You guys, you don't look too good. No, I'm fine. I'm <laughs> you fine. I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, the shakings are doing real good. Nauseous. You're not feeling. You're just like, I got four hours of this. Four hours of this. Just hold it in. Hold it in. It stresses me out so much. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, have you guys heard of the workers' union of rebirth? Oh, I want no part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna gauge you guys' responses to when you hear union. <laughs> mm, who do I fire decks? <laughs> okay, everybody do a common lore. Desley and Primus, you don't have this, so don't even roll. Um, this will be at a oh. plus zero. <coughs> nope. So don't even roll for it. Nope. So it'll be, this will be an intelligence test. Um, and then you can modify it. Um, by whatever you know the skill by, which for most of you is zero, and then I think for you it's plus I ten. I got it by four. You made it? Yeah. By four? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else make it? No. Okay, so you've heard of the Workers' Union. So essentially what you've heard, with four degrees of success. Probably one of those data pads I picked up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you, 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 yeah, you actually picked up a data pad that had the minutes of one of their meetings. Whew. This is a highly illegal group. That, that you know this. The rest of you haven't really heard of them, or maybe you've only heard whispers of them that are trying to get together to make 
the worker's life a little better. Maybe get some more safety stuff at the factory. You know, make make it a little better. But it, like that's illegal. Yeah, that and sounds dangerous. Yeah, if they're ever found, like anytime they're captured, they're executed usually. <clears throat> So yes, you've heard of it. So. Okay. so have any of you heard of the Workers' Union of Rebirth? No. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard that. <laughs> nope. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I hear that they're trying to, to get power amongst the higher-ups uh, to maybe make our life a little better, but I don't know. It sounds kind of dangerous. That doesn't I, sound sanctioned. No, no, it doesn't, does it? No. Does no. it? Festus. Festus. It doesn't, <laughs> Festus, does it? <laughs> No, yeah. it's, uh, Definitely outside their oath cogs, right? Should probably tell Michael about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Michael? <laughs> That's your boss, my boss. So Not he, your go, boss. he goes on jabbering and jabbered for a little while, and all of a sudden the, the train comes out of the long tunnel that you're in, and all of a sudden it's this wide open area. So it's still rattling along, but a little less so because it's not like literally three feet away from the, the tunnel wall. And as you look out, you can see this sprawling city, enormous city. You can't see any light. Like, you're still underground in the, the lower area of the hive, but just huge buildings. And as you look down, you can see millions of people just shuffling their way through the, the streets. And there's vehicles trying to get their way through, and there's hover vehicles flying over top of them. It's just, it's just unfathomable just how busy this city is. And there, you can see, if, no matter where you look, you can see motion of people going across huge uh, walkways. Even though you're going really fast, it's so big that you have a time to kind of... No, that's three miles away, so you can kind of see it as it's flying like this. <laughs> and you can see these huge lifts lifting up probably hundreds of people at a time in between levels. And every time, you know, when you watch it, it doesn't take very long before you notice, like, somebody falls off. <laughs> it's just, it's just a regular occurrence. <laughs> it, it doesn't need... <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? <laughs> like, these things, is basically, they hold this many people. Everybody packs on and hopes to be the first one on so they can be packed in the middle of it. Because if you're one on the outside, you're just you're holding on for dear life, like penguins trying to stay warm. The ones on the outside are kind of out of luck. That's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about this is happy. <laughs> Try to set the stage here. Okay, this is this is your life. You see this every every day and a half because your shifts are like 16 hours long. So you got like a four hour commute, a 16 hour shift. And then a four-hour commute home. So we go, we go right back. <laughs> we go right back to work. <laughs> is it a twenty-four-hour day? No, it's it's twenty-four-hour day, but your shifts aren't exactly the same. So you don't even get like a regular sleep pattern. Except that a regular pattern is, you you work, like every twenty-four hours you get to sleep. Uh, like after twenty-four hours you sleep, and then twenty-four hours, and then you sleep. Wow, um, that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah. So you never sleep at the same time of day. <laughs> well, you don't see the sun anyways. Pleasant. So your brain kind of adjusts to. Like, I don't even like, bother commuting. What is that like home. a thirty-hour day? It kind of adjusts to that. You never see the sun. It doesn't get bright and dark and bright and dark. There's no. What is that circadian, arcadian, some rhythm? Circadian. Like, circadian. Thank you. Rhythm. That, that's never really established in your body. So everybody deals with it. You, you've dealt with this for years, except for you. You've only been here a couple of years. So it's still throwing you off. You're still having a hard time sleeping because you're used to sleeping in the luxury of the Imperial Guard bunks, right? It's true. Where you actually had like a, a mattress that was at least like, I don't know, that pa- thick. Paper what? thin. Wow. I know, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seriously. Were you but a general? general? <laughs> Basically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other th- one thing you do notice though as you're looking down is there's these, this constant construction and reconstruction demolition like the city is and just bodies of, of buildings <laughs> bodies. <laughs> mountains of bodies it's just mountains of bodies no like the buildings there's, there's always another building being taken down and, and Arturo actually makes note of this he's like oh, those higher ups they've been working so hard to reconstruct and construct it's like they're trying to build the whole city in some image of one of them oh it's so disgusting they make us work so hard I even heard that some of those worker serfs they work to 40 to 50 hours in a row. And if they can't handle that, well, they might just get buried along with the building that's being built over top of them. So, I don't know, the workers' union sounds dangerous, but maybe there's something to it. I'm not quite sure. But, of course, if anybody gets caught with them, the sectionaries deal with them in their most efficient manner. I just pretend to ignore them and not listen. <laughs> well, I'm totally listening, but I'm uh, not engaging. So, that, he, just, he kind of just goes on. And so, do you guys have anything you want to say to each other or to him or... Oh, Kanto, yeah. just let me cut your hair. <laughs> no. Come on. Kanto Samuelson loves Kanto Samuelson's hair because Kanto Samuelson's hair is Kanto Samuelson. I already hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're my least favorite. You're really bothering me. <laughs> I like you. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to sit next to each other. 
Always. <laughs> this gotta, is actually your seating arrangement. He's got to put up with my blubber. This is your seating arrangement <laughs> on the train. Except Arturo is sitting between the two. Ah. Uh, yeah. Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, shoulder, which, shoulder. Which, which, one was, which way are we going? Are we going this way? Are we going this way? You're going this way. So you're just... I'm going to turn forward so I'm less nauseous. Yeah, the guy next to you kind of looks up at you. And he kind of smiles a bit. He doesn't have any teeth. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Other than the fact he has no teeth, how does he look? Um, well, <laughs> instead of teeth, there's like, I don't know, like stumps. Of what maybe is hey, like tell me about the workers' union. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, he guns. does technically have teeth still. But what's left of them is just like this. Oh, it's disgusting. But you don't really need much teeth to eat these, these rations because they're kind of mushy. It's a paste, right? Yeah, it was, well, it's... It, you really drink it more than you eat it. It's, it's not totally a paste, although you can liquefy them if you really wanted to. It's like, you know, you're eating the same Smart. thing, so you find different ways to eat it. Breakfast movie. Sounds like my French oh. No, it's like, um, well, like the English have their, what is it, black sausage? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we, ha- we you saw one of those. A black pudding. Black pudding, that's what it is. Yeah. And what that basically is, is like, it's like a some sort of membrane, and then they just pour like the fat. And like then, burnt and fat, then, like, and then and then the fat black cools and becomes solid fur, and that's inside of a thing. They eat that. Do people eat that. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> that explains how they came up with the forty k universe. If that's the regular like <laughs> diet, right? <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> so it's kind of like that, where it's like it's it's got like a skin over it that kind of keeps it a shape, but it's not totally solid. It's not totally. Oh, liquid. that's just honestly that's crazy. I'm just really curious to try it. I don't know about you I would you guys. eat it. Wait, I think I would too. Honestly, I would eat it. What black? You're talking about black pudding now? No, like this. <laughs> this ration. <laughs> this ration. <laughs> I eat black pudding in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Black pudding is, is way better than these rations. This is becoming less of a campaign and more of a Matt talks until someone pukes. Yeah, I'm sorry to see who I can get to throw up first. It's oh, always Steve. <laughs> <laughs> or T-neck. Sorry, T-neck. 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 It's easy to remember. It's like T-pain. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> you never forget T Pain's name. Who is T Pain? Who's T What? <laughs> he's want, the, he's the, auto, he's the auto-tune guy. He's the auto-tune guy. You know, like um I'm on a boat, he's the background singer from I'm on a boat. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy that popularized like the the over the top auto tune in music. <laughs> I just lost your audio. What happened? They did like the first iPod commercials, and he was the guy doing like the auto tune for it. For what was that? Black Eyed Peas. I think His so. train is way off track. <laughs> they are currently plummeting down into the hive city to your deaths. Sorry, we got four hours. Happy ending. <laughs> Festus. Okay, so any other conversations you want to have along the way, or are we just going to kind of? General chat throughout this four-hour train ride. I mentally practice. Practice what? Uh, my job Sword. as a server. <laughs> not a servitor. <laughs> a sanctionary. You're not a sanctionary. I know. I, I dream about it. You're a voluntary deputy dream sanctuary. sanctuary. Canto Samuelson wants to know. I think about what I'm going to do after my shift with the sanctionaries. What? He said Canto Samuelson wants to know more about the union. You say this out loud? Yes. Oh, <clears throat> I, I listen in, but I'm not. I'm like. You're not part of this conversation. Yeah. It's heresy. Arthur was his. Well, I, honestly, I don't know much about them. I've just heard about them. I, I know that if you start to ask around, which you got to be very careful of, I'm sure somebody will will approach you because that seems to be the way they operate. Is that they once they find out somebody's interested, then they, then you're approached. But it's it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. So far, anybody that I know that has become part of the workers' union has um, has disappeared. So hmm. and I doubt that in a good thing. I don't think they disappeared because they got out of this life. But who knows, maybe they have a way to actually fulfill your oath cog so you can actually finally leave and find a way off this this emperor forsaken planet. You Kanto are. Samuelson, thank you for your info. You're welcome. Can- you're welcome, Kanto. I won't call you Kanto Samuelson. <laughs> That's my name. Yeah, but Kanto. He's, he's on a first name basis with you. There's all just one, like, share. Kanto. Kanto Samuelson, then he actually has a last name. <laughs> Kanto Samuelson. <laughs> Kanto Samuelson Smith. <laughs> Anything else anybody wants to say? No. It's okay if there isn't. Nope. I'm assuming Lourdes I'm going this directly point. to my boss once we get sleep. there. Mm-hmm. Directly to my I'm boss. I'm still very nauseous. You're still very nauseous? Yeah, you're not just, doing well. Just, you're, you're, yeah, you're just like, like, this train ride is not, doing, it's not helping at all. No, it's not. You, just, you keep coughing up the bits of blood. Festus, I noticed you scratching the back of your neck earlier. Are you no. okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine. Just I woke up sore neck, you know, sleeping the wrong way. It's weird. Don't don't worry about it. You popped your collar already, right? Yeah. It's I just I just keep rubbing it. It's bothering me mentally. It's not actually. Is it actually physically bothering me? Not yet. It's, no. Okay. It's just mentally bothering me. <laughs> How's that for an answer, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if there's nothing else you guys want to do with this kind of narrative time, get to the end of the mag train ride. And you guys get to work. To work. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it does that for about 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 25 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, you're, kind, you're kind of feeling. You're, you're you're all kind of well. If it was going that way and it's stopping, so you're all leaning that way now. So everybody lean that way. Mm. <laughs> you're this way for about. <laughs> Hey, your head lands on Arturo's. Twenty-five Ar- Arturo minutes just looks over, like, hot garbage. Oh. He, he, well, you have, you're bald, right? Oh yeah. He's like, er, er, er. I'm like, wow, how does, he, how does he get it so shiny? Like, Seriously, I can't get the grease out of my mustache. Not that I ever try, but this guy's got like this super shiny. Like I can, yeah, I can see my three teeth in it. Three. <laughs> Dang. He's pretty lucky. <laughs> yeah, all three of his teeth. Hey, what's the secret, Cantel Samuelson? What's the secret? Spit. How he gets it on his head, though, I don't know. No, see, my spit's <laughs> greasy, too. <laughs> his spit's greasy, too! <laughs> Stop licking your fingers, dude. Let me wash my sheets! <laughs> no, you Sorry, can't! I got wrong, you're, you're, on, you're actually on this shoulder. Yeah. You're right here, he's looking over like that. So he's like... He's reaching over to you. Oh, that's a nasty <laughs> greasy <laughs> wet <just> willy. Like... <laughs> Okay, so you arrive. Finally, the, the the deceleration completes after twenty five minutes of decelerating, and then you hear the loud clunks of the whatever the things that engage on the the train to make sure it doesn't fall off the tracks. And once again, a bunch of servo skulls go whizzing by out the doors, and says, the doors all open, and you guys you feel the restraints release. Um, you actually realize that oh, I didn't release; it was actually loose this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and you all file off, and you get to work. Anything immediately you want to do before you get to your job post? Oh, I proudly stand outside of the, uh, the, the, the building. I'm just so happy to be I am actually truly happy to be here, <laughs> ready to start my shift. I look over my side to my trusty shock baton, and I walk right to my boss. I go directly to my boss. Before to your my boss? Shift, yes, before my shift starts. Okay, before your shift starts. So you yeah. go up to your boss. you got to come up with a name for your boss. Good. So his name is... Michael. It's Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael. It's not Michael. Can it be Michael? <laughs> Mike Curious. I do. Mike Curious. Michelangelo. No, it can't be that. Can't be that. Michael. Mikhail. It's Garrick. Garrick. Okay. Garrick. 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 So... I just, I barge right in. I don't knock. Well, he doesn't have an office. Okay. You think your superior yeah, is high my... enough up to have an yeah, office? Yeah, I guess he wouldn't have an office. No, he just has a post. Okay, he's at his it's post. It's actually a post. He's leaving. Yeah, he's leaving on a post. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I just so you like... turn a corner and he, and he looks over and sees you and you can see you see a very visible sigh. <laughs> I march right up to him <laughs> and I start throwing like a thousand words a second. Right, like I don't I don't let him get a word in. It's like right away I'm t- I start talking. Festus, about... Festus, Festus, Festus. <sighs> What what do you want to know me with today, Festus? Okay, so I go right. Uh, what was it? The, uh, the 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 union thing. What was it called again? Workers' union. The workers' union. So I start blabbering my mouth. No, right no, no. Don't just that. tell me what you start. Blabber. Right. So these words. Garrick. 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 Uh, I was again the tram ride in. Arturius. Arturo. 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 He's going on about how everyone's getting together. Mm. They're contacting those who are interested in it. I'm not interested, I swear in it, but if you want, I can pretend like I'm interested and I can go in there right away and I can be whoa, your whoa, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Festus, 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 Festus. <laughs> I can get to the top of this. What are you talking about? Workers' union? Workers' union. No it's such, a, a non-sanctioned I've never heard, union. I've never heard of union. union, Garrick. They're doing it. Do you not know? How do you not know? <laughs> <laughs> What do you what do you think your job is, man? Why every freaking day, you, your job is to walk down those two hallways and make sure people don't. But I could do both, stuff. Garrick. I could do both. I could do extra hours. I can go, I can go after hours. I can go and figure out what this is and get you more information. Oh, I already gave you that stupid shock baton after your 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 need that you have to be able to uphold justice. 
existence is just gotten kind of crazy. And I, if I didn't know better, I think you're actually interested. Are you interested in the workers? No, union? I, absolutely which not. About, which I've never heard about. It's like this. I but I can be if you need me to. Okay, you know what? Sure, fine. What you, while you're walking your two hallways, pretend you're interested in the workers' union. And I, what, what workers? I've never heard of this thing. And find out who else is maybe interested. Sure, in this. whatever. Oh, Just I could do that. Report to somebody else for once. But who who should no, I report to? I don't know. No, I guess you have to report to me. Ugh. Okay, fine. Just go. Just pass this information on to the next person. Yeah, just give. It, yeah, you give it to me. You get, I'll take care of it. Okay, and I'll, I I'll, I'll take right care. to my shift proudly. <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm doing all shift. <laughs> <laughs> and as you walk away, you can hear mutter under his breath. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Pain <laughs> okay, so you can, that's what he's done. Anybody else do anything special as they go to their post? We gotta get right to work. I'm gonna find some out of the way cozy place to work very hard not sleep <laughs> it's really dirty stuff? over there do you have stuff you do oh yeah all right give me a an ordinary plus 10 stealth check oh bro i told you oh, oh jeez there you go <laughs> wow i rolled a one like zero one yeah. yep <laughs> that's really good <laughs> he, he made me king now. <laughs> You were now in charge of the factory. <laughs> <laughs> he sleeps his way to the top. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I love you! Whoa. 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 Guys, Whoa. he's going for a nap. Whoa. <laughs> he's what he meant was he slept on an elevator, which took him to the top. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? <laughs> <laughs> you are all children. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, wow. your name again? Uh, it's Lured. Lured. I will get these by the end of the third or fourth episode. <sighs> Lured lobby. You find you do find a nice corner. It's actually a place that you're supposed to be anyway, so all the better because you haven't been assigned an area that you know degrease this machine. And this machine is very loud. And there's a spot right underneath it, like it kind of comes up in this one spot. And if you go under there and you kind of tuck down, there's a grate that you're able to open, and you go in there and you kind of close the grate so that you're mostly covered. It's very loud; people won't even notice as you're walking by. In fact, you see his feet. Perfect attention. Right and you can hear him. You can hear him muttering. Oh, I, I smell. I smell crime. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Something's all right. Yeah, <laughs> Every time someone walks by, I tap him with my baton. It's not on. I'm like. Have you heard of the workers' union? <laughs> you that's what you're doing? Yeah. That's very overt. Okay. Awesome. I think I'm interested in it, are you? <laughs> that's what... we'll, come, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Anybody else have anything special they want to do before they get to their post? I think I'm an autopilot going right to my little You're, just not, you're not feeling very good. You're just... Just... Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, there's so much blood. There's so much blood. I'm going to bottle it for later. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, maybe, maybe it looks good. never know. You actually try to maybe keep some? Sure, of course. Yeah, because you're... I'm wiping it all in the same spot on my sleeve. I'm like... <laughs> Later. Yeah. yeah. Well, you do have medical training, so yep. you maybe would actually want to, to look into that. I'll do my blood when I get home tomorrow. So you, you get to your <laughs> servo assistant um, refuse hauler. Yep. <laughs> so you sit down beside. Uh, what's the name? What's the name of the servitor that drives it with you? Oh, Cramid Nepets. What? Oh, or Cramid Nepets. Or Cramid Nepets. Yeah. You actually have a name for him, didn't you? Yeah. I, I, I seem to remember that you have it. Oh, Cramid. Yeah. Okay, so you sit down and do you say anything to Cramid? So Kramit is, his arms end about right here, so his arms are cut off about right here, and there's all these wires and stuff that are, talking. and he's just like leaning forward, and his lower body is gone too, yeah, it's just, all like, it's all wired in, is the chair. and his, in his head is just like looking in, yeah, you're sitting beside him, yeah. like, and, he, and he's like wired in, and he's got like these bionics in his eyes, and he's just, yeah, you just take him where I gotta go, you know where I gotta go. He's saying anything to him? Yeah, no, just drive, yeah, just, okay. just drive, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it takes you off as it lifts off. It lifts off has you know a slight hoverness to it because you got to be able to get around this place. Sixteen more hours of this. <laughs> <laughs> Just sixteen hours to go. <laughs> okay, so you kind of head off and start going to your designated areas to pick up the yeah. piles of garbage that everybody kind of. I don't think I'm going to search for anything special today. It's not on my film. I'll still be all in the back. Yeah. yeah no, that's fine. That's fine. You can be doing that. Yeah. Uh, our masher and our. Uh, Scooper? So is it Scooper? Yeah. Mastering and Scooper, did you guys have anything you want to do before you got to your post? <laughs> oh, 
I'd like to find something to eat. <laughs> well, that's what you're going to do. It's at your post, bro. Oh, I suppose that is at my post. <laughs> you sit down at your post, and there's some slop, like some of the larva that was, was squished but kind of fell off the conveyor belt, and Ooh. it's just kind of like dribbling down the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, food's food, right? <laughs> to neck in here, you describe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's been aged a bit over the last nice. day, as, and it's got a bit of rust mixed in, and a little flavor of, uh, I don't know, is that like the dried skin cells from everybody else that's kind of managed to attach Some onto it? Spicy. It's spicy. Yeah, it's, it's With a, a, metallic a bit of a je ne sais quoi, right? Like, whoa, what is that today? <laughs> that's gross, you're gross. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross, you're gross. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, so you get to your post. When you get ready, the machine starts, and the larvae start coming down. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> well, <laughs> whatever. <You> just... <laughs> Little larvae's coming up. Oh, they're alive? Of course they're oh, alive. Of course oh, yeah. they're alive. That's really the best flavor. I'm a, I'm a yeah. <laughs> it's like boiling lobsters alive. No different. <laughs> These little wings, they're all trying to lift off can as they can. Can whack them for some clover <laughs> or something? No, they're like this no. big, and they... You know, they've got these little antennas, That's and so these, like, these, like, they got really cute wings. faces, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look like kitten faces. Like baby no! <laughs> <laughs> like baby ocelots. <laughs> no. No, they don't have faces. They're just larvae. It's like, like poplars. Like, they, they have, like, an area that the food goes into, and then the anus, where it gets shot out of. <laughs> and some of them are actually, like, actively pooping on this thing, as, as you're squishing them as well. So, but, you know, it adds to the flavor. So you're, you're squishing. Well, I'm just I'm sitting there squishing things, <laughs> thinking about crime. Well, I'm gonna do some crime. Steal a bunch of stuff from my sister. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're you're at the next. You're just like two chairs down, and you're just like, you got this big scooper, and you pick it up, and you've got various molds. People like to pretend that they're eating different things. Ooh. And so like you have one mold that's just like the basic ration bar. You got another mold that's like in this fun like spherical shape, so somebody can like it's roll it around. Kids. Yeah, it's for kids. <laughs> the space marine one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one that's just like a guy standing like this. <laughs> we want you for the Imperial Guard. So you're just kind of you're just ramming them all, and, and and you know skimming a little bit off the top for yourself. It's like whipped cream or like ice cream or something. Oh, <laughs> there's a little bit of Think excess. Think of it more in there. like like mustard. I don't know. No, no. Think of it more like uh, like the like hunks of fat. And we just call it hammer. We'll call it hammer. We'll call it a hammer. No, it doesn't look like That sounds meat. delicious. Meat yeah. sounds like uh, it would be way better. Like, it's like hunks of fat. Like, imagine a bunch of worms. Like, like we, the larva, as much as he squishes it, there might still be, like, big sections of the thing that get into it. So when you're eating it, you, like, pull out this big section of just, larva skin. This one needs to be cleaned out. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, bacon grease in a frying pan that's yeah, kind of, like, yeah, solidified. Yeah, mix, mixed in with bugs, but, like, yeah. big bugs. Like, so he's, he's just, like, scoops of that with his finger. All right. Yeah, so I get just, a good idea. Like, hey, Kanto, I got some extra. You want some? Good. Good. Yeah, oh, it's like so this. good, though. That's gross. You're oh. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your opening line? That's, that's all I got. Hey, Cantrell Samuelson finds you gross. <laughs> Cantrell Samuelson thinks you're gross. You're gross. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, I flipped pages before I was supposed to. Give me one second. Anybody else have anything special they're going to be doing? Oh. <clears throat> all right, oh, so let's come like back to a couple things. Hours. Yeah, still yeah you, got six, you got another... It's okay. Time has passed. You've got another 15 hours and 46 minutes to go. Oh, it's already been an hour and 14 minutes. No, it's been 14 minutes. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm still pleased it's been, I can't believe it's already been 14 minutes. <laughs> oh, you're like, you're sad that it's been 14 minutes. Oh, I guess, yeah. yeah. All right, like, this is like, you're like, oh, shoot, I've only got 15 hours and 46 minutes left in my shift. Sometimes you have such a good time, fly, time flies by. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going down the hallway. Yep, I'm trying to show as much interest in this union. And meanwhile, so like the guy's walking of, by you, what yep. do you say to him? I like kind of like, no, no, just use the words. Right. So I walk up, a uh, random Joe comes by now. I give him a This guy's going by with like this bucket I, of stuff. I got my baton, I hit him in the leg a little bit. I'm like, you heard of the Union? Union. Have you heard of it? Union. <laughs> union. He shakes union. his head. No? Nothing? And then he keeps going quietly. And I like the Union. <laughs> I want to find out who else in the Union. <laughs> I say it loudly. Straight. Union. Union. <laughs> Very subtle. Yeah. Very subtle. Um, okay, so you kind of do that for a little while. My boss told me to get inside, so... You don't notice that? No, he's not even with you. Oh, yeah, so, okay, so a part of your shift, about an hour and 20 minutes in, um, you do walk by the masher and the, the scooper as their work. Hey, Festus! Hey, 
I'm just happy. Whatever. Union. Right. <laughs> trying to figure. <laughs> right. Stop. Yeah, I hit him. I hit him when I see him eating. He's not supposed to be eating it. I assume. No. No. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. I just had something on my mouth there. Yeah. That's what I thought. Right. And I look over at. Canto. 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 See if he's stealing anything. No. He's just doing the. Boop. I look for. Can't the name. Lured. 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 I look for lured, but I guess I don't find him. Right. No. I. I do I know he's sleeping somewhere? Do I know he's doing? You some... know. You. You. You've caught him in the past. Like he can't possibly make stealth checks every single day, right? Yeah. So, so, uh, so I'm you, trying to find you. You but... can try to find him. So uh, do you have? Do you have um, awareness? I do. Okay. Now, how many degrees of success did you make? You rolled a one. I rolled a one. one. It was an easy it test, and I have or ordinary plus an additional plus ten on that. So. How many degrees? Like six. Six? Okay, Oof. do an awareness test and how many degrees of success? I can't even get with six. I can't even do six degrees of success. I got with two. Yeah, no, you don't find him. <laughs> no. But you're pretty confident. I, I know he's be, out there. No, you're pretty confident that he must be working because you, oh. you did not find okay. him. You're like, okay, I, I know all the Wait, I guess he'd be all over the place, wouldn't you? Yeah, he's he's off degreasing things over there. And I checked the common there. spots that I have found him in the past. He's not there. He's not there. You're like, okay. He's, yeah, he's, I'm a good worker. He's, yeah, he's I'm proud. Player. I'm actually, at this very moment, yeah. proud of you. <laughs> The hero of the Imperial Guard. <laughs> yeah. As far as I know, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if you believe the stories, but... We're going to put the in jello later. I'm skeptical. And of course, t neck We're going to put the in jello later. t neck here is just, just cruising around with his... Uh, server. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just yeah he doesn't look too good. Taking all the stuff, taking all the garbage. You can you can tell that he's, I, I he's tap on him as, as I walk past and wake up. Oh, no, get up. Well, I'm not asleep. Oh, no, you're like... <laughs> You're, just, you're working slower, right? You're, you're now in Don't fall behind schedule. Job. Don't fall behind I schedule. I was going just fine. No, you got to go yeah, faster. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Get back to that. Thank you. <laughs> it's <gotta be> <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> He's driving on away. You when off. he turns away, walks away, I'm going to try to run him over. He doesn't go that fast. fast. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very fast machine. Right, we won't try to run them over then. It's, it's more about carrying a lot of weight than it is about trying to get up to speed because you know you're going around lots of corners and, and I stuff. Just, I just continue up and down this hallway, ever vigilant. These two hallways. <laughs> They're long hallways. Like don't get me wrong, they are quite long. Yeah. Like it probably takes you a good 15 minutes to go all the way down one. So and 15 okay. minutes to come back. So it's like you basically have half hour shifts. Half an hour. Rotation. Half an hour will be like a full right, so I'm rotation. <laughs> I'll have to do this 32 <laughs> times and my shift is done, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's well, not even that bad, but you know, it's kind of good, right? <laughs> you're just do it in the little but you get sadder every time you finish one. Yeah. You're just like, oh. And I'm nothing like, interesting I'm happens. 30 left. Yeah, like, <laughs> you, f you do find some people who are, who are like, lagging behind. Like, as you're crossing one guy, you, like, realize he should, he's, like, five minutes behind where he should be. Jeez. What is he even doing? Five <laughs> minutes? <laughs> like, how do you fall that far behind? Pathetic. Like, how do you even have a job here? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't ever actually promote him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is all one big social experiment. You guys don't realize. We're not even recording. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose a die? He got to die <laughs> <laughs> right now. It was a good one. <laughs> you can go get it. Just later. don't knock the cameras over. No, I'm not even. I'm not even. Trying. You're not going I got my. Those. I got my 2d10 still. Okay, you got your two. All right, we're good. <clears throat> That's how you fall five minutes behind. Yeah. <laughs> I got my tens minutes. and I got my. You got your ones. My ones. Okay. Um, so you're not really looking for stuff. So you just. Get <laughs> out. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> okay. It sounded like a rodent. It did. It sounded like Mr. Business. Mr. Yes, I was thinking. Okay. So as you guys are going around, I want you to make an awareness test. Yep. It'll be an easy one. Plus 30. Oh, I'm in a buy. Wow. A seven. Do you have awareness? You actually know awareness? No. So even with the minus 20 and then the plus 30, you make it? Then I only have a six, actually. So Everybody? one degree success or two degrees? A six. Six degrees. Except right? plus 30, right? Yeah, and then the minus 20 for not knowing it. Well, there's that. So it's only for six. So it's six degrees of success? Yes. No, I rolled a roll three. three. And what did you need to roll? Uh, I have 37, so 67. Right, 57. but then minus yeah. 20. Right. So six degrees. So down to 47. Wait. That'd be five degrees of success. Well, plus ten because I'm so sorry. Well, it's plus thirty because it was easy. Plus thirty, right? Minus twenty, so it's a plus ten in total. What's your perception? Thirty-seven, Matthew. So forty-seven, and you rolled three. Right, so five degrees. So that's five degrees of success. We call it six. <laughs> we call it six because you had the four tens and the zero tens. Four minus zero plus one. Is five you told degrees. me we would not do math. Just, just uh, we're not going to make a whole tutorial out of this. But basically, when you're making a roll, you got to roll equal to or under whatever number we end up getting. I thought to. it was minus ten for not knowing it. 
Minus, minus 20. 20. Negative minus 20, 20 for not knowing it. Uh, yeah, if you don't know a uh, skill, it's minus, minus 20. 10. So right. when we're talking about degrees of success and failure, <clears throat> you don't have to understand exactly what it means, but the more is better or worse. Uh, so 20? essentially, if you need to roll like a 55 and you roll a 45, then you take the two tens digits, so the 50 and the 40, you subtract those, so 5 minus 4 is 1, and you add 1, and that's how many degrees of success or failure you got. So if you needed a 55 and you rolled a 54, that'd be one degree of success. If you rolled a 49, it become two degrees of success. Why do we not have awareness? 39 becomes three degrees, and so on and so forth. So the two, take the two tens, subtract them from each other, and add one, and that's your degrees of failure or success. But you don't really have to remember that if you're not familiar with the dark heresy rules. Essentially, when I say make an awareness test, and somebody says, I made it with four degrees of success. If, if it's three or more degrees, it's usually really good or really bad. So that's, that's typically. So when you hear that, just understand that. I just want to have everybody need to fully understand the Dark Heresy rules. Because uh, we don't even. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. No. <laughs> we don't. We've been playing this for the past few sessions. And this that's is, about it. I didn't realize we were playing Dark Heresy. Oh, yeah. It's this Dark, is Dark Heresy? Heresy? Yeah, it's Dark Heresy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't make up the system. We were playing Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah. Why, what are these? Why are there only 10 sides to my dice? I can never roll high on my d20. Anyway. So you passed that's it. Fun. Okay. I forget. By, by five. By, by, yeah. by a lot. A lot. By a lot. And now, a lot. Okay, so let's get back to what we're doing. So you pass it. So even though you're not looking, as you go to get the next pile of garbage, you notice a data slate. Ooh. And it's surprisingly, it just all it has is one crack across the front. So wow. threw it away? Like, like threw it away. I know, idiots. But yeah, you, you can't help it. Like, your, your, your compulsion is, of course, then to pick it up. Of course. So, and as you pick it up, you notice that it was actually even left unlocked. Oh, oh. It's, got, it's like an iPhone without any protection. On, like no, no. Did it even have find my data slate on it? No. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. <laughs> so as you open it up and turn it on, Ooh. Um, you notice a message on it, and oh, it, no. Which, well, it's wrong. Nothing. Oh, even <laughs> just keep going. Sorry. And on the message, you can see it basically just has a few, just a few lines. Like it was a message that was sent to somebody, and then they threw it away. Um, it said, um, "Another outbreak." Sanctionary is coming. Hide the evidence. Didn't say who it's from or who it came from? No. Sanctionary is coming? <clears throat> Sanctionary is coming. I'm sure those are the Luca guys. <laughs> no, I, 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 wish wishes. Those, I wish those were the Luca guys. <laughs> okay, now I want you to do uh, a tech use. Because it's already unlocked, it's yep. going to be routine, so plus 20. I have plus 10 to. Oh boy. Look at, ooh boy, I made it, or ooh boy, uh, I filled it. What am I using? Intelligence? Yeah. Uh, what did you say? I said plus 20. That's just enough. So you just passed it. Yep. So as you're about to put it down, you notice that there actually is an encrypted area. On the bottom right, there's a little icon. And as you press that, you're able to, to realize that there is one part that's an encrypted part of the message. So you can try to decrypt it if you oh, like. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so in, decryption would be a tech use as well. That's, okay. So you're going to do the same thing. It's going to be a routine one. So plus 20. Oh boy, that one I failed. Okay, so you're not able to hack into it. Oh. But there's definitely some hidden message in there as well. I'm gonna hang on to this and then I'll get it, I'll get it out of home. So you're gonna pocket it? Oh yeah. Alright, so get your gear. Oh, there's still that slime in there. <laughs> you're like, you're like, oh, <laughs> 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 you put it in your other pocket. Alright, and then you continue on. Yeah. Good job. I, okay. I can find these things all the time. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> So everybody else is continuing their job. You're asleep. Well, actually, well, how far in the we say we're like an hour and a half, two hours? Yeah, you're still asleep. Definitely asleep. They're definitely asleep. You're catching up, right? So you're still asleep. And you guys are mashing away. And as you come by where they're located again, there's somebody walking by. And you do your typical, yep. hey, you heard of the union? Gone hit. Union. Have you heard of it? And the guy stops and it says, are you from the union? No, but I want to be. I mean, oh, <laughs> oh, you're not from the union. Okay. No, but I am showing my interest. You're showing your interest. I'm showing my interest. Well, now is not the right time. The sanctionaries are coming. Apparently, there's been another outbreak of the disease. I don't know which havelock it was, but uh, they're coming to this area. So I simply raise an eyebrow. Yeah. So if, if you if, if you're part of the union or interested in, it, I, I suggest that you uh, you find a place to uh, hide while they're here, because I hear they're coming to take some people away. You said the sanctionaries are coming yeah, soon. Yeah, sanctionaries are coming. Good, okay. <clears throat> right. 
<laughs> right. All right, so you know the sanctionaries are coming. You have an idea where they would come in, They're coming through the post of your of your boss, Garrick. So I'm going to go... Uh, is my, uh, you guys overhear this, by the way. Oh. The two of you overhear this. I'm going to go wait over wait. When is my break? I'm going to go over there and wait by the... Uh, my, <laughs> you uh, don't get a break. Where they might show up. You don't get a break. Right. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, like, every rotation when you get back, like, your 30-minute your rotation, when you get back there, you're allowed to, like, rest for about 20 or 25 seconds and eat a ration or something. In a row? I'm going to speed yeah, up. Yeah, right? I know. He's, he's high up there. I'm going to speed up the process, and when I get back to near that post, I'll kind of linger there oh. for a little bit longer. So you're, so you're willing to... I am above my your, own ethics. Yeah. You're, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do your job a little crappily. Yeah. So you're, as you're going by, I need to I need to be there when the sanctuaries arrive. I I have information that's critical for them. <clears throat> okay. So as you're speeding up, you're coming around the corner. Um, so essentially, you're coming down a hall, and right around the corner is Garrick's Who's my post. His, his post is Leona. Yeah. And as you walk up, you can actually hear that they're already there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I just as as you're getting ready to turn the corner, you actually this is the part of the conversation that you overhear is that there are certain that there's people that are here to to um, to arrest. And the they notify like they, they tell Garrick we need to identify all the people who belong to the Hab Block oh. Delorean Tertiary Cognus Minarius. Oh, that's ours, guys. Oh, you're not there. Ooh, I didn't say that. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> I hear that, right? Yeah, and so you stop in your tracks. I would assume for a second. I do, because <clears throat> from what you've heard, if you're being taken away, that's a bad thing. So I wouldn't. So all of a sudden you you're like. Shoot, it's on my cog. But at the same time, I feel like they would trust me, right? I'm like, they no, no, they. Oh man, you get us all killed. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I feel like I would want to go up to them right away and be like, I know everything you guys need to know, but I don't actually, right? <laughs> well, I don't know. You tell me what you're gonna do. I'm gonna walk right up to the sanctionaries. <laughs> walk right up to the sanctuaries. <laughs> I'm doing it. Right up to, I'm like, Garrett, guys, guys. Garrett turns around. And he's like. <laughs> Bestest. I'm, I'm, I'm like super eager and like so right away I look at them I'm like guys uh, do I rec like I don't recognize no them, you don't right? recognize alright so I'm, there's a lot of sanctionaries these yeah, don't happen to yeah. be the ones that you bug all the time I'm, I'm, I'm a volunteer deputy sanctionary <laughs> I'm not trying to like get my words out I'm trying to enunciate but I can't I'm like too excited <laughs> I'm like I know what you're looking for I know who is involved because I, I assume some people just the one guy okay hold on slow down slow down what are you talking about okay what, what are we even looking for? How do you union. know what we're looking for? Th those involved with the union. The union. The what workers' we, union. The workers' The union. unsanctioned workers' union. What, what are you talking about? We're not here for some unsanctioned workers' union, although we'll report that and we'll look into that. I can, I can point you out to who. No, we are here to detain all those from Hive Block, DeLorean, Tertiary, Cognus Minarius. <sighs> <laughs> There's been an outbreak. Another outbreak, and this is a thing, that, and you know that those who get detained because of these outbreaks never come back to work. Oh man! So, are you aware of who is? It, are there people in your your uh, rotation? I do are, know someone. You do know somebody. <laughs> I, no, I know a I lot. I need of you people. to identify all the people from Hab Block, Delorius, Tertiaris. <laughs> all right, uh, I can do that. Something, I can do that. I can do that. I know, except for one. I think he's working. He's in a he's a custodial engineer. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there working somewhere, but he. I also live in that block. <laughs> okay. You work in the block. I sorry, I live in the block. You, you live in the I'm block. fine though, I swear, I'm fine. Okay, hold, hold, hold still, hold still. Hands where I can see them. And they come up and they scan the cog and they're like, yeah, he's one of them. Alright, take him. What are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> and and they say and they, and they put they, they grab you to put restraints on you. Do you resist? No. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm like I'm kind of like I'm like oh, I can help you. I swear I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Like, <laughs> oh, you are gonna help us. Yes. Come with us. Okay. You're I gonna do. identify everybody else that is from yeah, your head. Yeah. Hundred percent. No problem. <laughs> 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 he doesn't know what to do, I can tell. I can tell. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. It's gonna be for the next just 10 sessions. <laughs> Alright, so you walk back. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Alright, so you head back and you come to their station. 
Okay, but right away. <laughs> Boom! But your hands are... Oh, in yeah. The, in the cups. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you feel a firm hand Cantor, on your shoulder. Can, name is Cantor, and name is Price. Cantor. But you feel a hand on your shoulder. You turn, and there's a, there's a big sanctionary, all dressed in his black armor and everything else like that. And he's got a, you see a shock mall on his side. Shock oh, mall. Geez. Shock mall. I'm incredibly impressed. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, come with me, sir. He doesn't say, sir. Come with me, boy. And he puts his hand on your shoulder oh, and calls man. you as well. No, I'm working. And, I'm working. <laughs> I'm sorry, so you need to come with me now. No, I'm laying this. <laughs> this is like the part in the Matrix, but Neo doesn't get away. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like so close. <laughs> the story writers are like, and then he turns back and, and, they, then and, 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 and he gets arrested, and they're like, what do we do now? <laughs> All right, so, like, so are you, re- are you re- like uh, resisting? Yes. Don't okay. resist. Don't resist, guys. Okay, all of a sudden they, they yank here on to help. you. Are you going to resist them yanking on you? Yes. Okay. Do I knew I was going to get you. <laughs> he was your friend. <laughs> do a strength test. Just a challenging one, so plus zero. Ooh. Oh, boy. You passed by four. You passed by four. Yeah. Okay, so as he pulls on you, you yank and break his grip. Please. No, you throw him in the basher. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's oh. murder. That's a crime. That's murder. <laughs> and then what do you do? It's a Luke and a Basher. <laughs> Save the other two. What do you want with There's me? two of them. Oh. There's one that has his hand on your shoulder and one on his, or had his hand on your shoulder. I'm trying to keep this facade and, up. What and, did you want with Canto Samuelson? And, Question mark. Oh, so you're just like turning around being like, what gives, man? Yeah. <laughs> what gives? Okay. It's like, I'm sorry, by the order of Sanctionary. M45, subparagraph 32, you are under arrest, and he pulls up Why? these restraints. He will, none of this has to be explained to you right now, as you know by order M32. So, I don't know what that means. This is what you get for stealing! For the greater good. He's cuffed and went to excited! So... He's, he's going to try to restrain you. <laughs> he's going to kill him. I'm still resisting, no. Okay, so you're resisting. Oh Alright, so as you resist back, he reaches for a shock mall. So roll initiative. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> so you're going to roll your, your d10 plus your agility bonus. <clears throat> oh, ooh. 11. 11 total. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, same. 11 total? Yeah. Uh, so you, you want to roll, roll initiative? <laughs> Actually, you roll for initiative. Yeah. I, Just roll it. Kanto, I will save you! Yes! No, guys, stop resisting! There's <laughs> the sanctionaries, what are you doing? I'm just going to throw my stomach at him. So roll initiative. Are you sure? Just, yes. Yeah, of course you is. <laughs> nice. that is close. No, just D10, roll, D10. Okay, roll D10 what plus your agility bonus. Oh, I don't have agility. No. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's Everybody two. has agility. Five. five. So five total for you. <laughs> Meaning I have a low agility. Correct. You a slow boy. And you roll your initiative too. Oh sure. <laughs> just gonna roll a fifteen so somehow. You can yell something before we try to hit somebody. I got a five. Hey, but your cuffs. So I'm gonna put you after Dave. That's fair. Even though we're tied. Okay, Quirk. You have the highest initiative. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna grab him. You're gonna grapple him. I'm gonna grab him. Okay. So a grapple. So yeah, you're close enough to him because you're Throw already like. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Great! This is this is advancing the story real quick. We are all now fugitives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you're asleep somewhere, right? I'm doing my job. <laughs> yeah, you're currently unaware of all this. Okay, uh, so grapple. So you're gonna do it as a full action. I didn't. You don't need to do a full action. So the act of controlling the grapple. Oh no, sorry. This is an opposed weapon skill test. Oh, which one is no. Thirty-five. That's a bad. Oh, it's pretty good. But compared uh, to a mighty sanctionary, <laughs> I got a little sister I need to protect. Go. Cool. Hold on one second. So grappling. Squish. Standard action. The attacker makes a weapon skill test. As normal, the target of grapple may use a reaction if able to the avoid the attack. Yeah, okay. So go ahead. You make a weapon skill test. Okay. So he doesn't have to react. So you go to grapple him, and he just kind of <laughs> steps slightly out of the way. You can always use your fate point. The one fate point that you have? Yep. <laughs> you you use your one fate to re-roll it? Yep. Alright, mark down that you've used it. <laughs> it, won't, it won't I'm the pusher! It doesn't want to go away. 
<laughs> it's like, no. No, don't use me! No, Kanto, not now. Do you want to print out another character sheet? Yeah, yeah, would you like another character sheet? Yeah, I'm probably going to need one. Weapon skill? That's even worse. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a 74. Did you grapple yourself? Okay. <laughs> You're like, ah! <laughs> what did you roll, actually? What was your natural roll? 74. Okay, so it wasn't a 96 or higher. So no. that. Okay, so it was like a critical failure. Okay, so um, the guards are there. So the one holding on to you just firms his grip because you haven't gone yet and shown any signs of oh, anything. Russian. The other one, half action, pulls out a shock mall. Ooh, Another half action, center attack. Okay. Yeah, okay. Boppy on the head with his whoppity stick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he rolls an 18. So oh, he, oh. he hits you. Would you like to do a reaction and parry? Yes. Okay, now you are unarmed right now, right? Yes. Do you have the parry skill? No. Okay, so minus 20 to your weapon skill. That's an auto. 100! You no, rolled a natural that's one. A, that's, oh, that's, that's a 10, that's man. A 10. Oh, that's a 10. I passed! Oh, no, minus 20, though, right? I still passed. Oh, right. Holy crap, how did you pass? <laughs> how do you just look yourself under the switch? So he comes down hard at the shock ball, and you just like, no. somehow you're just like, yeah! And you just, you just push it away with your hand. <laughs> All right, yeah. Luca, you're up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, sorry, Dave, you're up. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. So, what's your name again? Price. Price, Price you're up. Okay, I'm going to try to talk out of this. What are you, you going to say to the... What are you going to say? You have the wrong guy. It's not him. It's yes. him! Who are you pointing at? Point to a random nobody. Okay, so you're trying to deceive them? Yes. Okay, so uh, let's do a deception challenge then. Yes. Just, just fled you guys. No, there's something very wrong with him. He was not right when he came into work today. He oh. was overly excited. He must have eaten something really bad. All right, that's your five seconds. So do a, decept, a deceive check. Um, and we're just going to make it challenging, so plus zero. So your deceive is at level two, right? Yeah. So you get a plus 10. ten to your fellowship. 45 okay. under. Ooh, seven. I crit. Well, there's no crits. So I get seven. So that would be five, five degrees of success. Hundred, yeah. Okay, jeez. Look at the rest of you, Luca. Again. <laughs> no, 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 he pointed somewhere else. He pointed at some random person. So you point over there, and the guard's like, and this one starts to walk away yeah. towards that person. And the other person's like, drops what they're doing and starts to run. And he starts chasing after them. He's like, halt, halt, under the sanctionary order. And he just disappears. Just run, bro. All right, Luca. <laughs> like, I just, I'm like, I don't, I'm like flabbergasted. I'm like, they believe that? I'm like, all they had to do was check you, their cogs. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even check their cogs. <laughs> like sanctionary 101. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good point. Yeah. Yeah. He passed it hard. Like that. I can't. Like, yeah. I can't like five degrees of success go by without. Yeah, I pull it away from him. <laughs> so are you gonna do anything besides yell? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's all. I'm just, I feel like I'm bouncing around, but my legs aren't shackled. I guess. <laughs> yeah, those, like, 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 what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? It's them. It's them. <laughs> okay, so it comes back to your turn then. Am I still fighting? Yeah, you're you're still engaged with this other guy that's, that swung at you, and he's just kind of somehow. It's like yeah, and he deflected his his blow. I panic and push him towards the masher. All right, so do another weapon skill test. <laughs> Please pass this one. Nope, I rolled a forty-four again. Hey. All right, so you failed to push him. You have another half action. What's it gonna be? Go, right. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and push him again. What was the other one? Yes, to it. I don't think. Or he he just like box. Oh, it's the Superman one. The Batman vs Superman. No, no, it's the original, the, the new Superman. That's not the Batman vs Superman. Where the guys in the bar, or in the restaurant, and he gets really mad at him, he just yeah. and goes, <laughs> and he just goes. And he's like, <laughs> "That's what you just did." Yeah. Yeah, Man of Steel. Thank you. All right. Uh, what's your second half action? You gonna do what? Can I try pushing him again? No. Two, 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 two attacks. Oh, okay. Two attacks. Uh, I'm a backup. So you're gonna move out of his. Yeah. Because that means he'll get a free attack. Oh, right. We're in combat. Yeah, because disengage is a full action. You could fall on the floor, roll in position. <laughs> you could do yeah, those, stop shocking. You could do like the wacky salmon dance on the ground or something. I don't know. You pretend like you're a fish and just hop <laughs> around on the ground and throw him off. I don't have any other. Okay, okay. I have nothing else. All right. No. So the guard swings back at you. He's like, Ugh. and he just aims 
And swings. Yeah. You want to try to parry it? Minus 20. Did it again. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> you roll 15 or less. You roll a 13. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, he, he can see he's more cautious with his attack this time. He's like, he's just like, what the crap? I am. Well, now you're Asian. Okay, that was great. What? <laughs> it sounded like an Asian accent. All right, Dave. I'm half offended. Okay. <laughs> Dave, it's your turn. The guy just ran away. You're just standing there looking over at him, like, <laughs> like slapping the, the shock ball. Like, no, no stop attacking him. him. I'm talking to the sanctionary. Can you give me a reason more than stop attacking him? You don't have the command skill, so you can't. You just issue a command. You got to convince the guy. Look who your partner's chasing. He's the guy you want to chase. Well, we're gonna try to deceive again. Yes. Okay. Now this guy's stuck in combat, so he's not really listening to you that much. So we're gonna give this a difficult roll. So minus ten. To your deceive check. So it just evens out. Yeah. So just fellowship or less. Woo! Definitely not. Roll a 90. Yeah, he doesn't buy it. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? That was a free action, so you still have your full turn. <laughs> so he's going to go back to work. You don't know what e to Eating do. nervously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you eat nervously. Can't, can't tell somebody someone's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, ah! 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 <laughs> All right, Lucas, back to your turn. Oh man, I'm so conflicted. I feel like you shouldn't resist arrest from the sanctionaries, but at the same time, you're super impressed that I'm resisting arrest from I'm the sanctuaries. I'm super impressed you're resisting arrest from the sanctuaries. I'm like, I would never be able to do that. Oh, I try. I'm just gonna keep screaming at the other guy who ran away. Oh, he's, he's too far. He's out. gone. Yeah, he's gone. You wanna run the I'm corner? I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna try and tackle Cantor. Like Canto? he's like Canto, yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna run you're up gonna and give him like, a shoulder check. Like, <laughs> All right, so do a weapon scale, but this one is at minus 15 because you're shackled. Sorry, minus 20. <laughs> I failed. Oh, yeah. I, oh, boy, did I fail. By two degrees. Two degrees? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not enough for you to triple fall on your face. That's, oh, okay. That's too bad. I can't embarrass <clears throat> myself fully then. Yeah, so you just kind of walk up and you're like, ah! And the sanctionary just looks over at you like, what the crap are you doing? I don't know what to do. This is a terrible situation. Just why would you resist arrest? All right, Quirk. I'm going to try and push him again. All right, weapon skill check. Go in the masher. Big Please, bully. Go the masher. Please go in the masher. The so first half action. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I think I tripped and fell in the masher. <laughs> How many degrees of failure was that? That is... Five, six? Six. Yeah, you six. do trip and fall in the masher. Oh. So you trip and fall on the conveyor, and you start to go along. That's okay, oh. there's nobody there mashing, because that's your job, yeah. right? Everybody else has stopped working by this point. There, are, Some of them are quickly moving away, or others are just kind of stand, staring dumbfoundedly at this weird in, uh, exchange between you guys. So you're like, yeah, you just land on the conveyor belt, and you're like, moving along. Was that my half action? Because my other action would be to turn around and go. <laughs> you turn around, come get it. Come on! <laughs> As you take up. <laughs> Alright, so the guard does chase after you. Oh, oh boy. No. <laughs> so he's going to attempt an agility check to jump on without falling on his face, which he fails. So he, he jumps on and so he uses his whole turn to scramble onto it. And, but then he kind of crouches up. And so he's, he's near you. And you're just kind of like, you're lying with your back back to the ground and your hands like this. And he's like just a few meters away from you. And the other one's gone. Dave, you're up. They're just, they're starting to pass you. I just roll onto him so he can't get up. So you're going to try to grapple him. That's a grapple. That'd be just grappling? Use, yeah. Use the masher. He's past the master now. Oh. He's at the station now. Oh. <laughs> um. He's nailed it. Everybody's just going to drop their dice. So you get a charge and grapple? No. So you get a plus I 20. I suck in combat. But you I get a plus 20 if you charge it. Uh, sure, I'll do it. So what does it bring you up to? Enough. <laughs> oh, barely by no, I, one. I, yeah, yeah. I made it by one degree. One degree. All right. One percent. You actually made it by one. One percent. Yeah, literally. Yeah. yeah, you've rolled a 45, needed a 46. That's, yeah. that's one degree of, of, of success. Yeah. And you, you're like, oh, blah, 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 and you just, ah, and just <laughs> land on top of this guy. And you, and you continue with the conveyor as well. All right, Luca. That must look funny. You're, you're watching them all just kind of go off in this conveyor. Just... <laughs> I'm going to make a running jump at the conveyor. Okay, agility test, minus 20. Yeah. Because you're, uh, hey, you want to try to pick up these dice that we're uh, dropping? We'll have to find them after. We'll have to find them. I fail by two. Just by two? Yeah. Okay, so it's enough for you to get on the conveyor. Nice. So you just, but you're just like, you're laying on your back, and that's your whole turn. All right, Quirk. You're laying on, you're prone on your back, and this guy's like right there, crouched and ready to come after you. I want to look around and see where we are at on the conveyor. In it's only been like five seconds, so you're really not that much further. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to stand up. Okay, that's half an action. 
I'm gonna jump off the conveyor. <laughs> you thought about that a long time, dude. I did. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna jump off the conveyor belt. It's really not that hard to jump. So, like, you're just gonna just yeah. Okay, you don't have to do an agility check. Okay. It's just like right there. Yeah. He had to do an agility check to get on because he's shackled, and he was trying to grapple as he jumped on. So that's okay. why checks are necessary there. Okay, so you just leap off. And so now he's approaching you even faster. Okay, um, <clears throat> it's his turn. So he leaps off too and, and charges you. But his, it's, only, it's not going to be a charge. It'll be a half action to leap off and a half action to attack you. You're asleep. No! <laughs> uh, Thanks for the update. <laughs> yeah. I'll get there eventually. Barely around. misses. Oh, God. Just whoop, as, he, as you're just. So did my grapple not work? Oh, right. He's grappled. Yeah. I'm like, sorry. I'm lying on top of no, him. No, I, for, I forgot. Sorry. So oh, okay. he's slowly suffocating right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sorry. He's grappled. So we got to do this again. So he's going to try to get out of the grapple. So that's we're gonna do. I think we do an opposed weapon skill test. Oh jeez. Yeah. 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 Oh jeez, is right. Um, Can't use my weight as an advantage here. No. So. It's it's the right thing to do. Yeah. I, don't know, dude, I don't know if you're aware that we're actually gonna beat you at lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little, little snitch. All right. So he's gonna do weapon. Both snitch. of us are gonna do weapon skill tests. Uh-huh. Tell me how much you make it by or fail it by. Oh, jeez. I make it by one, literally. And I failed it by, like, three or four. <laughs> what the heck is happening? <laughs> Why are you all a bunch of ninjas? <laughs> <laughs> so you're imagining it, you keep him pinned down. He's just like, you can see him trying to reach for his rock ball, and he's just like, come off of me. So much <laughs> weight. Freaking tub of, I broke in by a fly lard. I stick my finger in his ear, like, Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, this is awful. I would have oh. to show it away. Oh. And I use my half action to put it in my vial? Of spices? It's, not your tur- it's not your turn oh, okay. yet. Yeah, it was his turn. Now it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> and okay, you got him grappled. So basically, the things you can do while somebody's grappled, first off, unless you you have to declare that you're going to use your full turn to keep grappling him. Otherwise, the grapple ends. He can just push you off. Um, so you can try to do damage to him. You can try to push him. You can try to manipulate where he is. But first, got to pass a weapon skill test again. Oh, that's not going to happen again. You never know. Well, then I'll... Actually, well, no, not necessarily. If you want to damage him, we got to do an opposed strength test. If you want to push him, then opposed strength. Test. Opposed strength you got test no as well. For a fat guy. Yeah, you're a little no strength. You're just <laughs> bones and fat. There's like no muscle. Mass. <laughs> no power. So what do you want to do, Jim? I you're smothering him right now, but that's about it. And where uh, were you going with this? Canto Canto has already run off. No, no, I just off the conveyor belt. He just he jumped off, so you're like passing him right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you want to like. You, like you, for longer. example, you could push this guy off the other side of the conveyor belt and then roll off and join Kanto. And then be on opposite ends of the conveyor. And that'd be useful how? I don't know. Next turn you can try to get away. Big, I will, I'm not sure I'm where not gonna, are I'm not going to run I don't fast. Know, I, don't know what, I don't know what you're going to do once you defeat these guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to... Defeat. Can I try to like uh, choke hold him so he falls asleep? Oh, you're going to try to knock him out. Ooh, that sounds pretty complicated for a guy who no, doesn't know okay, how to wrestle. Okay, opposed strength test then. Whatever that looks like. Hold on, hold on. Ready, stand, use item, grapple targets. Grapple size We're going to defeat them. I like that. <laughs> We're going to take their feet right off. <laughs> By the way, my motivation is so that he can continue helping his sister, because I care about him and his family. Yeah, Thank but you. this guy don't, apparently. No, he's... <sighs> jerk. <laughs> no, you, you, you're my least favorite. Well, as much as he's a traitor and a betrayer, I, I still like him. Thank you. You, you pointed to You understand I'm doing the right things. Thing. You I, the I can understand your actions. Ah, so you want to something. whatever the opposed strength test and try to damage him. It's okay, so you're yeah. gonna try to chokehold him. So okay. Gonna, so what we'll, we'll do is we'll do a chokehold as an opposed strength test, and if you make it, however many degrees of six, or how many degrees you make it by, that's how many levels of fatigue he's gonna lose. Okay. Because if he loses enough fatigue, that actually knocks him unconscious. Okay. So do a strength test, no modifiers. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Well, you failed, so it doesn't really matter what he rolls. Yes, I failed. Okay, so by you a lot. failed to chokehold the guy. He's just like. He's like he's holding you off so as you're trying to smother him, and he just kind of pushes you off and does not get choked. You hugged him in like, September. Get your blubber seal arms off me! <laughs> yeah, he's like <laughs> just slapping him away. All right, uh, Luca, you're starting. To, you're, you're you're right behind these two who are grappling. Yeah, but I you're, stand but you're up. Prone. I stand up. Okay, and <laughs> no man, I just want them to stop resisting. I jump off the conveyor belt. All right, so that's your full turn. Yeah, stand up, jump off. You are the mantis of this Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you. Mantis. Thank you. <laughs> Quirk, you're up. It's just a uh, so these guys have gone a little further along now. Okay. So as I'm gonna, gra- you see him trying to like chokehold the guy. Okay, I'm going to run over and try and disarm him. 
disarm him. Yeah, I want to take the shock stick. The shock mall? Yeah. You mean off of the guy who's lying underneath him? Yeah. <laughs> so do you have the ability to disarm? No. Okay, then you can't. <clears throat> Period. End of sentence. He can't grab his shock mall? I can't, I can't go. Oh, I guess I guess he's not currently holding it. Like, disarming is actually... <laughs> it's, it's just, there's a disarm, yeah. disarm is actually a, a talent. Yeah, disarming is actually a talent. Okay. But, okay. Well, Poke him in the eye. Can I just like, pick it up if he's like... Well, it's, it's, it's underneath. You know what? You can try. Okay. All right. So, then, I don't know. I think this will take a strength test. Mm. You have to pull it out from underneath him. <laughs> it, uh, slippery and... Oh, man. He's all greasy, so it's like... Yeah. That makes it harder. Yeah. But the... Strength <laughs> test. I failed. All right. So, you go up and you grab onto it. And, you're like, and you can't make a budge. And you just kind of walk along with them. So, now you're kind of along with this... <laughs> Pile of people. Was that, was that a half action? Can I just turn it on? No, the other half. The half was. Hey, that hurt me. We get over it. Tantric <laughs> doesn't care. All right. So after that, we've got uh, like the guard. So the guard is going to try to get himself out of this grapple. He's going to try to flip it over so he's little grappling you. So oh, weapons go. This is really greasy, really Do sweaty. You betcha. Jeez, I think I fell. By four degrees? No, by four. Like by four. Oh, yeah, strength. No, wait. Yeah. Weapon skill, he's there. Hold on. Grapple target, break free, slip free, take control. Oh, it's an opposed strength test. Still fail. Um, <laughs> Still fail. Especially the same number. These, these numbers are so low. Like, yeah, no, yeah I, so I, remind me. I suck at everything. <laughs> yeah, he failed too. I rolled a 63. This oh. guy's not that strong. I like, failed He's less. strong, but he's not that strong. Okay, so uh, he fails to break free. He passed out yet. No, he's, he still has to try to do that. So it's your turn. So you gonna try to oppose strength test, try to choke him again. Okay, half action to slightly roll off the. the so the, the other the other things that you can do is you can um, you can ready an item. So you're controlling the grapple, so you could pull out a weapon if you had one. Ready an item. Or you can stand and try to drag him up with you, or can you can I use an item. Throw some out with my spices. Would that disarm him? Somehow? Yeah, you don't really have any weapons, do you? Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. He's <laughs> like smash some extra rations in his face. So you can try to push him in his or eyes. Just smash his face. Yeah. Spices in the eyes. Man. Yeah, spice in, in the eyes. eyes. You do have some spices on you. You are a cook, right? I will half action to He's take out my spices. <laughs> so in his eyes? Yeah. All right, so it. let's do. Well, what kind of test should that be? How hard would that be to do? That doesn't sound like it would be very hard. Let's just... So, you know what? You, you auto pass it. He's going to do a little dodge okay. at, at disadvantage. Yeah, 98. Nope. Oh, that means so he much really not there. dodges it? Yeah, he doesn't see it coming. He's just like, he's too busy trying to get a hold and all of a sudden it's like, poof. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear it scream, he's like, oh, that hurts, what hurts is that? Oh, the wasted spices. <laughs> Household pepper. <laughs> that was half an action. So now he's going to have disadvantage or some negatives on any of tests that you try to do against him now. Okay. Or actually I'll give you the advantage instead. That way you can maybe actually pass one. So with your other half action, what would you like to do? Uh, would you I now like to try to strangle him? Yeah. Or, sorry, not strangle. Not strangle. We got a rat in Make him pass room. out. <laughs> Make him pass out. Yeah. All right, so now you're going to do strength test, but I'm going to give you plus 20. Okay. Oh, boy. Here I'll we go. I still fail it. Good stats. Oh, oh, wow. How much did you make it by? Okay, that's uh, plus 20, you said, so that's by 40. So by how many degrees of success? By 4 degrees or 5 degrees? Plus yeah, 20? the difference is 4, then add 1 for 60. So 5, so degrees. five, five degrees. degrees. And I failed by 2 degrees, so that's 7 degrees in total. How much fatigue does this guy have? You, you oh, wow, I think you just... Him. I think you knocked him out. No, you don't kill him. You knock yeah, him out. Yeah, KO'd him good. Um, <laughs> my spice. Yes. Fatigue is toughness plus willpower. Yeah. Yeah, he's unconscious. Okay. So you just like, clunk, kind of put yourself over his mouth and grab his neck and... You seeing this? I am. Ah. Yeah, he's right there trying to... How are you going to report this? <laughs> Guy, oh my God, guys! <laughs> and he we are in so much. No, you are in so much trouble, Price. It's your turn. Uh, I just fell on the conveyor belt. He happened to be here underneath me. <laughs> That's not what I seen. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But you are kind of their friends. I know, I know. Okay. Don't and be more you ain't. <laughs> and at the, and at the same time, you know. Now you're in serious trouble. I think we have to run. All everything you know about sanctionaries. I know a lot. You, I got, you are done. I got plus twenty. Your 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 voluntary deputy status is. You know it's going to be gone. I'm heartbroken. And you, on the inside. As, as much years as, of as work. much as every instinct in your body is telling you to report these guys, you know that you are now an accessory. You're 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 handcuffed. You're near them. They would never believe me. They would never believe me. You know they'll never believe you. Like everything you know. We about have the to run. 
Christ, you, guys are you gotta come with us. Christ, we have to leave. There's no choice. Cantor, we have to follow Cantor. I'm riding the conveyor belt. You can run beside me. We'll go the same speed. <laughs> are you slower than the conveyor belt? I'm very belt? slow. <laughs> You're slower <laughs> than the conveyor belt. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have to run. I run. I suggest we. I'm gonna run after the. You direction. want to, try to break free of your bonds? Oh yeah. I, I'll it, try. It's a difficult oh. check. Minus ten strength. What's that? Help? Yeah, you have security. You can try yeah. and pick it. Do you want me to try and pick it for you? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow, we're all so very polite. <laughs> <laughs> you have, hold on. Do you have any words? Are you not mad yeah. at him? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Okay. Oh Go ahead. man. Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. You nope, missed. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't like you. Hope you learned the lesson. I meant to miss. Okay, now I'll pick that one. <laughs> okay, so security check. This one will be challenging plus zero. Okay. I do not pick it. You're stuck in those forever. You can try to break free by doing a strength test. I fail. No, I six fourteen. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Just Bottle. like Necromunda. <laughs> 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 okay, so so this unconscious body is is we're back in the narrative time by the way, we're out of initiative order and stuff. This uh unconscious body is now like going around the corner out of view. And you guys you you've, you've literally like, tried to pick his locks and all of a sudden he's like <laughs> and he breaks it as you're trying to pick it. Strange. Cool. I'm gonna take his shock stick, the whatever thing. Off. The shock mall. Shock, shock mall, that's it. He's okay. gone. While you were doing the pick. I he's can't he's chase after him? You can. You don't go. Don't go. We as have tempting to as it is. You need to stay with us. I'm like fighting all my energy. You will die by stuff. yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cancel Samus and we'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> do, do I know the best way to get out of here? Oh, of course you do. You, you, know, you know all the bolt holes that people use to hide. I'm going to take this time to run and think of a plan how to get in the good graces of the law again. Okay. So Meanwhile, I only have my friends. What's that? He's allowed to just run off, but I'm not. No, he's not running towards where the guy was going towards, and towards well, where the other sanctionary ran off. Oh, that's fair. The other sanctionary went that way, too. Okay. Yeah. We should, uh... What's you're the allowed best to do whatever you want. If you want to go after it, you can. I actually have terrible navigation. <laughs> I risked I my spices to save your life. Mm hmm Took me a long time to gather those. You know this local area. I'll let you kind of find your way out of this local area. So just a navigate check? No. No, no just you know it. Boom, done. All right. How um, do we get out of here? Okay, so the quickest road is obviously... So as you guys are doing this, you come driving by. Hey guys, a little better. <laughs> jump on, jump on. Lift me up. It's you don't let him. No, get off. Order him to. It would, it no, would make a good hiding spot. Order even there's the back to. area where you could hide in the garbage. Ooh. Oh, that, yeah. I will suggest that we go. Hi we can hide in the garbage. Oh, oh you, you can't just. What are you doing? We gotta go. You've gotta go. He's got. You, you notice when you look at him that he's got shackles the on. The shackles on that are broken. The, what are the things? On so. Your, uh, tell him that they're after him and he'll get freaked out. He'll do yeah. whatever you say. The sanctionaries are here. You know what they'll do? They're yes. here now? Yes, yeah. they're here now. I know about them. They're here. They tried to arrest us. Why are they trying to arrest you? He nearly killed one. Nope. They're apparently checking us for some sort of virus. I'm not infected. Some sort of outbreak, oh, and, they're, <laughs> and they're after everyone from our hab block. So we gotta go. Everyone from our hab block. Everyone from hab block DCIM. DCTM. TM. D D T C M. D T C M. D T C M. <laughs> D -T -C -M. <laughs> Wait, are we sure we got the right hab block? Yes, correct. Uh, they arrested me on the spot when I admitted where I was from. <laughs> <laughs> I insisted I'm not infected, yet they arrested me anyways. Let's drive so we, and talk. No, that thing is but, slow. Yeah, this thing is not going cool fast. Mm -hmm. But it's incognito. I don't know, is there room for all these mm -hmm. guys? You fail? Oh, yeah. Good, you wake up then. Oh, yeah. And as you wake up, you are actually kind of near where they are. And you can, we're just going to say for sake of argument, you can overhear this conversation. Are you <laughs> sleeping the whole time? What's up? Or do you crawl out of your little hidey hole? <laughs> and so you come out of your hidey hole and you see this. Shouldn't you guys be working? <laughs> Frustration overtakes me. <laughs> <laughs> I was not so good, proud. Not a good day for Festus. There's, there's <laughs> grease down there. <laughs> oh. I believe him, I guess. No, but the yawning, man. Why do you gotta yawn? I was stretching. Oh. How hard I was working. Anyways. Big time bad trouble. <laughs> Are you aware of the big time bad trouble? <laughs> big Apparently. Time bad trouble. You guys would not believe what just happened. 
Tell him. What just happened? <laughs> we gotta go. Okay. Let's talk and I drive. Think messing okay. with us. We gotta go. Yeah. Let's go this way. We'll talk. Talk we'll and drive. This, way. this is the best way to hide. Uh, we're going to. What, what's it called? The, the, okay, we're gonna go down this path. We're gonna cut down section <laughs> CA32. And then we're I'm gonna still not sure why we're doing this. Okay, so I was talking to my boss, Garrick, and uh, the sanctionaries arrived because the people in the hallways were saying the sanctionaries were coming. And they showed up. I tried, and they said, We're looking for people from Hab Block DTCM. Nailed it. Killed it. <laughs> So I, well, I overheard that, and it was my duty to go and tell them about all of us. So you tried to rat? No, not rat. They were looking for us. It turns out we were infected with something, and they tried to arrest me. They arrested me. They, I showed them where they were, and I was going to show them where you two were. I couldn't find you. Uh, I was working. Yes. And now they're after us aggressively because they tried to resist arrest. It could have been all fine. And no, not they would have killed us, and he rat us, us out. I don't think they would have killed us. The only reason why him. we're all alive is because the information that he acquired is keeping us alive. I don't... Yes. I don't think they're here to kill us. They were here to maybe question us. So do you us think they're back at us. the Hab as well? They would be. 100%. They were probably there first. I got to go check on my sister. Probably kind true. Of the, like, the I got to get back there. Might be able to check us for any kind of viruses, but it doesn't seem like it's like a smart idea to go there right now. Maybe we should get in the hallway and go yes, find a more. I, I said that several times. Yes, you did. So we go that way. We'll go. We'll cut down. I think uh, that way is better though. Subsection. Oh, who would know better? Ooh. I, I I just circle this whole area. Okay. Well, Steve, your character's name is Tnek. Tnek. Thank you. Tnek. Um, the nice thing about driving a garbage hauler is that. You get to bring all sorts of items past checkpoints without being. I was saying, I'm, I can get us out of the building. I'm not sure we gotta go after that. Exactly. But you can get them out of the building. Like, the, but I think that assuming was... assuming they don't check you, because who knows what the <clears throat> protocols are right now. But typically, you just drive by uncontested past the checkpoints. Yeah. Because you're just it's garbage. Who cares? If, right? if I was with them, could we get past those checkpoints easier? You definitely would not. You are hiding under the barrels. You can sit up front. Okay. We need a you gag guys. to put in his mouth so he doesn't yeah. get us all in there trouble There is nowhere again. to sit in front. There's just your seat and the server's seat. And you're all hiding in the barrels. I have a display on Primus lore. Could I like know where to go to hide? Shotgun sitting next to Lourdes. Let's get out of the building first. Um, yes and no at the same time. Like you, you already know where to get out. So let's get to that point and then you can formulate let's the next part of your plan. Alright, let's just get out of here. We gag this one. Guys, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> You've seen what I can do when I've just fallen somebody. <laughs> just a tactic. We're no, going to gag you, me. find a barrel big enough for you, hide everybody in the back. I resist. Oh, that's, that's a big I, barrel. I start resisting this guy. Wait, are you trying to gag me? Yeah, we're gagging. I resist. I resist. All, all four? <laughs> I, well, I mean, I'll fail. Unless you have left promise left not to say I'm putting up a fight. Note I'm putting up a fight. I don't like this. <laughs> so the three of you are, are going against him? Yeah. All right, each of you do a strike test. No modifiers. Just... Oh, boy. 56. Okay, you fail? Alright, they get you then. Yeah, wait, yeah. Oh, right, no, so no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> and they shove you into the pile of guns. <laughs> Shut up! And then knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they subdue you and okay. put you in the back of the servo hauler. What are very you doing I'm just gonna go top in the barrel. You're just like, alright. Okay. <laughs> barrel it is. I'm easy to get along with. <laughs> it seems comfy. Alright, so and you all hide amongst the garbage? Shackle the oh, game. I, I got I have stuff to squish. Get in the, the, the okay. truck thingy. I, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Alright, I'm getting in the truck thingy. <laughs> so you got Thank you me. back at your, your post? Let's click okay. go. Oh, click oh. incognito oh, oh, mode. Okay. <laughs> get incognito. Grab some more of the, the paste, please. <laughs> like, you're, yeah, you're just going by and you like, lift your shirt up. You're like, I'm coming, guys. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, that's gross. That's really gross. <laughs> You're shoving stuff in your pocket. We're going to very slowly drive to waste disposal. Like going on a road trip. <laughs> exit, exit B. Yeah, exit B5 in particular. I decided not to take a while to get the noises. Yeah, you like, trip okay, rations. You know what? We're, we're in a rush. Put it in full blast. Go, go, go. This could seriously hurt somebody if you accidentally. I'm going to get in a walk. If, if, you, if you like pin them against the wall, I guess. <laughs> you gotta walk beside you crush it. them slowly. Yeah. Well, this thing has a lot of torque, right? Like as much as it goes slowly, it's meant to carry like tons and tons and tons of stuff. So that's like a big, like imagine a huge boat going slowly. Like, yeah, it would slowly crush somebody. That kind of thing. All right. Like so you're heading. Bulldozer. And anybody do anything particular as they're hiding in the garbage? No, I just I decide to be quiet and just think. I'm in a deep process of thought. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Anybody else have any actions? This morning taking? he was a law-abiding citizen. Now he's in a barrel in the back, all gagged and broken handcuff. And it's it's <laughs> almost a murderer. Years of I don't know servitude to. How the is your first undercover uh, operation going? <laughs> I understand why you did it, but I, my I, don't like, dream. I don't like that you did my it. My lifelong dream. I feel that we all should be angry that he betrayed you know, the team. He, he most definitely betrayed us. Well, he, he knows I'm mad. Oh, I threw okay. a punch at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> threw. But you won't win. I don't like you. You won't win. <laughs> <laughs> you won't <laughs> What is that from? Does anyone want to know? No. Trailer Park Boys. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, All right. So beep, 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 beep. Okay. So you're, you're hold your breath. This stuff's toxic. Yeah. You don't want to lick anything that's that you're currently driving the truck with. It's kind of a combination of like metal. Like it's just it's broken parts. But there are like he has every every once in a while he does have to shovel a thing of of stuff that's falling off the conveyor and toss it in the back as well. So there's some of the greasy stuff back there too. In fact, you do come up to one of the checkpoints where you're supposed to get out. Yeah. And there's a big pile of parts from the the Kind of the end of the end of one of the conveyors where all the leftover parts that don't get processed kind of get piled up, and you're supposed to shovel that and, and throw in the back. Sorry, I'm looking at you. Yeah, it's your, job. Uh, yeah, it's your yeah. job. So you're getting to that point where you're supposed to do that. So do you stop and do it? Of course. Or do you continue oh, no, no. on? We 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 pick we shovel up that stuff if there's room. Okay, there's room. Okay, we're gonna pick up. We're gonna do our all job. Right, so you guys, you guys feel the the vehicle stop. <laughs> and you hear footsteps. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> You can feel the stuff just dripping down onto <laughs> oh, where you're hiding. I'm mean, aiming most of it at uh, Festus. The Festus? You want him to live up to his name? Yeah. <laughs> it's just dribbling down. Can, and this is the stuff that they don't even put in the rations. Oh. This is the stuff that makes it the end of the conveyor. Like the. I wear a hazmat suit because of it. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> he does, actually. Radioactive. <laughs> or who knows what. And he's shoveling it, and this is dribbling down into the top of you guys. I'm gonna do it fast. Let's get right, right back in the thing for driving okay. as fast as I possibly can. Whew. All right, so we've got roughly, yeah, okay, so hopefully we'll get through this next part. Have time for that. We, I think we were about. No, it doesn't matter. Let's just get back into it. Okay, so <clears throat> you've just finished shoveling all the crap. On Luca. On Luca, specifically. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of payback. I'm muffled. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So you continue on your way. It takes yeah. about probably another 20, 25 minutes for you to kind of work through the rounds because you yeah. don't want to appear suspicious, right? And finally come to the checkpoint where you can go off and dump the garbage. And where you dump the garbage takes you outside of the factory because you literally just come to a spot and you dump it and it just falls down into the underhive. Oh. <laughs> Makes sense. That, that's what you would do. <clears throat> Obviously, that's not what you're going to do, right? No, we're, we're driving away. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure. Can we and dump now a portion of it? <laughs> just a portion, you just go out and just roll one barrel out. <laughs> and like all of a sudden it's just me and Steve playing for the rest of this entire campaign. <laughs> you, or maybe the rest of it is you four just trying to get out of the underhive. Um, yeah, because yeah, that's where you just see actually you come out of the factory. Of barrels on the river. You find you find a spot where it just it's this conduit that goes down and you're just boom, and you just you would normally just dump it down there. And it's kinda out of the way that wouldn't anybody would see. But you're approaching the checkpoint right now. Yes. Um, so you're driving along, beep, yep. beep, beep. and there is a checkpoint, and you can see like people walking in and out, and you can see there's sanctionaries there that are scanning the various cogs of people coming in and out. And normally at this point, like there's there is another quasi security guard there who normally would just wave to you and you would pass. And as you approach, he looks up at you, and he waves, and just wait and just motions you through. I'll start driving through. And as you start driving through, all of a sudden one of the sanctionaries turns. And looks up at you. How close is he? Um, probably about ten meters away. So okay. pretty far. Like you're, 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 you're not like driving right next to this checkpoint. Yeah. You're just okay. kind of going along, and, and so he looks over and sees you. So at this point, we're gonna test your fate. Okay. You got one fate, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna burn that fate. Okay. Cool. Right now. Well, actually, I'm gonna give you a choice. I'm gonna give you a choice whether you want to burn that fate or not. Now, when I say burn, I don't mean like lower your I threshold. Yeah. I mean you're gonna use that fate. So you have a 50-50 chance of getting through this without him actually checking. I'm going to tell you those odds right now. You're going to be the one to roll it. Okay. I'm not even going to do it. Um, or you can use your fate and make it a 90% chance. Now, not using the fate. Not using oh, the fate. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> You're going to roll it, so there's no fudging. Can I explain to him what the hazardous material he's going to get close to? But you can try that if you fail this roll. He will call you over. So you got to roll 50 or less. 
<laughs> what'd you roll? Not 50 or less. But what'd you actually roll, though? 85. Oh, if only it was 90. <laughs> so you see the sanctuary look over and motion you over. So yeah, at this point, you're actually at a point where you could just kind of like go into high gear and take off at <gasps> 10 kilometers an hour. Mm, I don't think I'll get very far. <laughs> <laughs> and if I dump some weight. So mm -hmm. what are you gonna do? I'm just like, just warm and keep back. I mean, I'm still I got a full hazmat suit on. You don't want to get too close to this whole rig. Okay, so you're pretty far away. Yeah, so I won't really be able to hear you from this distance. All right, so I'm gonna get ten off meters him. away. That's like thirty feet. Oh, I will. I will and get off. And it's pretty noisy everywhere. Walk towards him. There's nothing to get off. Like you're floating in like this. You'd have to drive a little closer for you to him to be able to hear. Probably about three or four meters will get you close enough. You're kind of in this open area. There's a, there's a walkway that he's on, and you're just you're going through this other area that underneath you is nothing. So he can't easy just like. No. Ah, okay. Well, then we'll, we'll keep going then. So you're just close ignore enough. Him? Yeah. Well, then I'll, I will communicate with him when he's close enough to hear me. Okay, because you're you're currently like going away from him. So do you want to like drive a little closer to talk to him and then and try to go away? No, I'm just, I'm 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 not deviating my course. I'm gonna keep going straight. I'm gonna be like, stop. stop. And he's you can see emotion and more drastically to come over. All right, and he turns. Hazmat too. And you can see you can see him talking to a Vox as he continues driving and leave him behind. Yeah, just keep keep driving. <clears throat> and then shortly later, like about five <coughs> minutes later, all of a sudden you can see a vehicle approaching. <laughs> it's a sanctionary vehicle. It's got a little siren on it. Not for me. It's not for me. Wait, wait. So you guys hear this approaching? <laughs> Shut up in the back. Okay, and it pulls so up beside you. <laughs> and the guy, and the guy and that rolls down his right. gothic window. Yep. That's that's a window that's like this. Yep. Not, not all the way, it's, there's some fumes and stuff. Careful. And he's like, he's like, halt! And under, under sanctionary order of M32, we need to inspect your vehicle and scan your cog. Uh, I currently can't scan my cog, it's underneath my hazmat suit. I can't take it off, it's too dangerous. Uh, sorry, sorry, I can barely hear you through the, the suit that you're wearing. What I said was... <laughs> so no, I, I can't, I'm here, I can't take it off. All the stuff, it's all, it's all, I can't take it off. You can't, I, I still can't hear you, can you speak a little louder? I can't take it off! <laughs> why, I'm sorry, why can't you take it off? We just need to quickly scan it. Because of the garbage? Well, what's wrong with the garbage? It just looks like standard garbage to me. Yeah, I'm now risking my life to explain to you to save your life that this stuff is radioactive and toxic. I gotta dump it now. Alright, so, you're kind of telling the truth, because that is actually your job. So we're going to do a deceive check. No, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> yes, but because of the circumstances... It makes sense. It makes sense. We're going to make it an easy one. Plus, okay. plus 30. So what? do you know deceive even? Oh, no. So it's going to be basically a plus 10 to your fellowship. <laughs> Nailed it by two. Three. Nailed wow. by three? Wow. No, during two. Two. <clears throat> okay, he believes you. And he's like... He turns to the guy next to him and he's like... You can hear him muttering a bit. And he looks back, and you can see a little look of concern in his face, and he's like, all right, all right, carry on, carry on. <laughs> and they turn around. Nice. <laughs> Saved your feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you <laughs> fail, you can use the fate to re-roll it to use check, right? So. Oh, fail again. <laughs> okay, so you get out, and um, the quickest way, like, where, where, okay, so you get to kind of a safe spot where you can unload everybody away from the factory. And you, so you're all, all kind of out. By this, uh, by this dump truck, or this garbage hauler, this refuse, servo-assisted refuse hauler. <laughs> uh, it's a, 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 what is that? S-A-R-H, an S-A-R-H, a SAR. Right by the SAR. And what are you going to do next? I'm going to try to punch Lupe again. <laughs> yeah, you want to try to punch Lupe again? I'm buried in garbage. Am I, am I no, no, you're garbage? out now. Oh, nice. I'm assuming. We've taken you out. Well. Right. You're going to try to punch Luca? All right, go ahead, do weapon skill test. I got him with a two. Oh, you oh. maybe knocked those two. All right, do you want to do a dodge? Wow. Can I parry this? No, you can dodge it. Oh, well, yeah. actually, it's a parry. Yeah. It's close combat. Huh. I don't. <laughs> 95. <laughs> All right. So just bam! Bang! <laughs> right across the face. Hey, hey, hey. I feel better. So you get uh, four damage to your face, minus whatever <laughs> toughness you have. Oh, it's zero then. I got. You have four toughness here? I face? got a helmet. Oh, okay. So you just <laughs> clock him across <laughs> no, the helmet. No, I, I gotta help it. And it's just like, you can, you can see that he's dazed a little bit, but other than that, he's unhurt. I feel better. Did you hear <laughs> what happened? What? <laughs> just like, he, he took another nap. <laughs> that was another like half an hour nap for him. It's cozy. <laughs> it's warm in there. <laughs> Guys, we can't go home, and we can't go to work. Can we go home? No. Why not? 
Wh isn't that where they're going to be waiting for us? Who? Who? Do you not? Oh, did you not overhear it? He was asleep. Yeah, wait, what? You were We're asleep the whole time? We got stuff at home. Sanctionaries. We got sanctionaries. It's sanctionaries. Wait for us back home. Mr. Business. Yeah, but you're not, you're not locked up, Luca. It's okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was all tied up. That's his but, guilt. But, I mean, freedom. <laughs> well, how do you know this? How do we know that they're all How do we there? know? Because Blabbermouth told everyone. What exactly did they say to you? No, I overheard that they were looking for residents of Hablock DTCM. Nailed it. Ah, oh, every time. <laughs> looking for inhabitants of uh, that hat block, our hat block. And I didn't really, they were looking for, there's an outbreak, and they're looking for to gather up those people. And right away, I'm like, I'm from there. I walk up to them. And then I said, I know everyone else in this section of the factory that is also from there. We can go get them together. Wow. Push <laughs> move. No, it was. Hence why I punched him. It's the law, T neck. Can you even say my name right once? Tinek. Thank you. Sorry, it's just easier to remember with Tinek. <laughs> <laughs> so when we go get my stuff? I uh, well, I eventually I, have to go. I have to go back at some point. My heirloom. I vote. Yeah. I vote we go back and rat. try like and see what Mr. we can Business. find. And I doubt very much that they'd go there because it's hazardous for whatever reason. So they're probably just trying to get everybody at work. I figured they'd go there first. Thank that you. That makes sense to me. Wait. I have good knowledge of sanctionaries. Would they be there first? Sanctionaries? Yeah. Um, that knowledge won't help you in this case. Oh, dang. Like, you know how sanctionaries operate. Yeah. But these sanctionaries are coming to get you. Actually, you know what? Yeah, do a check. Do you have a common lore of sanctionaries? Yes. And Maybe. it's... What is the third upgrade called again? Hold on. You know what? Level three? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you gave me level three knowledge. You're level three knowledge of sanctionaries. <laughs> he is studied. Yeah, so that'll be plus 20 then. Nice. Hey, I get it. With one degree. With one degree? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you find it odd actually that the sanctionaries were involved at all. Oh. Um, it seems that if they, like, because their job is to go around and just make sure everybody's doing their job. There's a separate force, like, there's the Adeptus Arbides that worries about policing stuff. There's also other forces that would be in play for dealing with things like the outbreaks. Like, okay. In fact, in the past, for disease outbreaks, sanctionaries have not been involved. So it's just coming to my attention that the sanctionaries. Remembered, remembered. Yes, I remembered that the sanctionaries would actually have no business with this kind of issue. Which I probably should have thought of earlier, before I kind of threw us all under the bus. <laughs> Way For to go. which you are. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, that was actually the proper end. No, that's good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? You sorry. I yes, I'm very confused. Um, I don't know if they're going to be there. I would assume they might be there. It's always safe to assume. Oh, is, there, is there a train running back that way right now? What if these is are corrupt always, sanctionaries? Is it safe to take a train? Because I mean, they're gonna. Have to we could take the hauler. garbage hauler. That'll oh. take you. That'll take you days. How many rations do we have? <laughs> that'll take you days. All right, guys, everybody in the garbage hauler. You're a tech. Could you not supercharge the engine? I have. That's why it only takes us days. That's why it takes. That's oh. why it goes max to speed ten kilometers an hour, dude. That's like five kilometers an hour over at. These things are regulated for two yeah. kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's like two. Yeah, it's two. He's got it five times the maximum speed. So I should be impressed. You should. Like, let's put it this way. Those those mag trains probably go at 500, 600 kilometers an hour kind of thing. Maybe even upwards of 1,000. Jeez and Louise. so he goes 10 yeah, kilometers an hour numbers. at full. <laughs> well, they, they remember it took 25 minutes for it to decelerate? Nobody do the math on that, all right? I don't want to know. Someone do the math. <laughs> yeah, do the math. <laughs> don't do the math. This they is have 40K. inertial dampeners. It's fine. Yeah, the warp. <laughs> something or other. A psyker. It slow stand using the warp. <laughs> yeah, because the warp actually, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it would take a very, very, very long time. Like, picture going 10 kilometers an hour and trying to cross the United States from one side to the other. All right. That's roughly what you'd be looking at here. Forrest did it. He was going fast. Your long best long. bet to get home, in a, if you're heading home, in a timely manner before things get worse, is the mag train. Yeah, I'd take the mag train. Let's get right home. I have my lap. And your oath cogs do allow you access to it, assuming they haven't done anything to change that. Oh, we got to hope that they don't, because we don't got a lot of options here. Or we'll be flagged at the well, station. Right now, the only ones of us who are flagged are Blabbermouth. Did they even scan Why am I flagged? You guys were ne they were never scanned. We Yours were, was scanned. Yours was scanned. scanned. Yes. Actually, yeah. No, oh, you. there's one more thing I want to point out. Um, in normal Dark Heresy, there's something called subtlety that you guys are all aware of. Mm -hmm. We are going to be using that tracker, but for a different purpose, which you are not yet aware of what it will be. And How much did we lose? 
You start at 100. I wish and I I'm an actually, hour. And as opposed to Dark Heresy normally, where I don't let you know what it is, I'm going to make you very aware of what it is. Okay. Because I want you to feel some sort of sense of dread every time it takes yes. lower. Okay. okay, so you started at 100. Thanks to all of the commotion you caused, uh-huh. you are going to lose D5 plus 1, and I'd like Josh to roll that. Okay. D5 hey, plus 1. Hey, there's the hard 10. Yeah, there well, it is. So you six. lost six. Thanks, bro. So you're suddenly you just went. It. Like if you, you I, I almost wish there was this big thing right behind me that you know it's like the it's like the analog clocks where it switches. So that way every time it lowers, it's like it's got like some sort of dreadful noise. Yeah, I want, it basically it just went gong, and now it looks and now it says ninety four. Now you don't yet you're not yet aware of what that means as as players, but you can probably start to make some guesses as maybe to I why can... I would be tracking subtlety. In the situation, so do you think maybe I can mess with his cog and try to make it appear as it's somewhere else? That would be some major hacking skills. Yes, it would be, wouldn't it? Or it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> Probably backfire if it doesn't work. I don't know. They got. They gotta, well, they're not gotta, like radio transmitters. It's not like they'll be picked up. It's more like if you scan it and it's been tampered with, they can then find out that it's been tampered with. Oh. So yeah, it could backfire. But, yeah, so. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go. I'm trying to control the train. I could just hide you in my belly button. I don't know. Wow. Gross <laughs> travel, bro. Can you uh, imagine yeah. all the lint? Ew. Oh, no, he's really wearing shirts, does he? And he doesn't have a lot of hair. Okay, so. your pick. Hide in the roll. <laughs> he doesn't have call. any hair. Except in one place. The 1%. We haven't found out It's that fold. It's <laughs> <laughs> the belly button. Let's put my roll over you. Let's walk through. He's a big man. So you want to mess oh, with the cog right. before you go on the train? Yeah. yeah. So you want to try to falsify his identity. I do. To yes. allow the cog give him access yep. to the train without identifying himself. Yes. I've, it's come to my realization, I got it in my head, these are corrupt sanctionaries. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the job of another department, which is against the doctrine. They're so you need to get back there to get to the bottom of this, right? Yeah, so you can you. report it to the proper sanctuary. They're, 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 they're not supposed to be working on this kind of thing. This is the, uh, the whatever handles so the virus. So you try to help the corrupt sanctionaries? I, 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 I just thought of, I just remembered it now. I, I do. I sincerely do. Also, don't you do that all the time? False. We have false. No, I, I'm above my own ethics. <laughs> we have false authorities after us. We need to get back home. Yeah, we do. So you're gonna mess with this cog. Yeah. All right. So what is your tactics normally? Is it um, I got a plus ten to it. Okay. So mm, I can't say this is any easier than challenging because this is, although this is a very common item that you probably would have messed with in the past to do maybe some acquisitions. So you know what, at best I'll give you an ordinary plus 10. What does that bring mm. up the total? 60. No. Easy. Hmm. Hmm. How many degrees of failure? Just two. Well, all three. What, what are you about to say? Um, the minute thing's variant circuit is uh, jammed, I need to try again. Oh, do you have just a list of... T- <laughs> Can you not see that? Just for the audience? Yeah, the metaphasic variant circuit is jammed. The I need to try it one more time. The metaphasic... Well, you think I'm going to let you try again? Yes, you are. <laughs> I believe. To your okay, so that was works, how many right? degrees of failure? Oh, uh, three. Okay, I need to keep track of that yep. then. I'm going to make this harder. Mm-hmm. And I'll just say that for every degree of failure you, you do here, you're messing it up and not making it better. So now it's going to become... It'll be okay. Three degrees will bring you, bring you down three, so it'll be a hard minus 20. So you'll have a total of minus 10 to your intelligence. No, I have two levels of tech use. Right. Straight. See minus 20? Yeah. I can do. Oh, minus, minus 10. Plus 10. Right. Yeah, right. So minus 10 to your intelligence. How many oh. degrees? Yeah, she got it. You made it. How many degrees of success? Two. <laughs> okay, so you repaired a bit of the damage that you did. Day it. <laughs> I'm going to bring you back up to challenging <laughs> your plus zero tech use. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, so I almost got it. Uh, I nailed, wait, just plus 10. Yep. <coughs> By how much? How many degrees of failure? Uh, four. Oh, that's you, too much. How'd you go from nailed, oh, I think I failed it. Oh, I failed it by four. <laughs> yeah, that brings so it down to, you 60 again. That brings it down to a total of five degrees of failure. Uh, you broke it. Oh. Broke his cog. Wait, so it was minus 10 again? Or plus 10? It was plus zero, so it'll be plus 10 total. Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry, I didn't feel that far then. Uh, I filled it by two. No. Oh. oh, plus one, so three. Okay. All right, so now we are at, you can do one more time, at minus 30. Okay, guys, I got this. It's totally, Hard. I know exactly what the problem is. The emergency replication transducer, it keeps getting in my way. Trend, trend, transducer? Oh. It, it is still in my way, and I'm really sorry. 
<laughs> okay, so at least you failed, so that's at least one degree of failure, which is enough. This cog is now garbage. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've been without my cog, as far as I can remember. <laughs> okay, you know without your cog, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to get on this train. You still have it. It's just now it's not functioning. Yeah. Serves you right, Snitch. Yeah. I'm going to hang on to this thing. No, 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 no. He, he, it's still his. My like, cog. If he walks around without a cog, you guys, like, I, this is common knowledge. You don't walk oh. around without a cog. I have never failed before. I don't. I don't understand what's going on. I, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not even sure what to compare it to in our day-to-day lives because you could walk around with your ID here. Imagine that every five minutes you have to show your ID, and if you didn't, you're thrown in jail or worse. Hmm. That's what this place is like. I got an idea. I like I'll the idea. You yeah. cannot. Like, as soon as you have, you don't have one. You're naked. And I'll take his. We can. It's like one of those. They check his cog, and like. As he's like walking past, he slips it off and throws it behind himself, and I put it on subtly, and it's like, hey, it's Yo, like does old Kramid wear a cog too, a little server dude? No. He's, <laughs> he's a hidden thing. You don't show him in public. No, no, that's, that's, the, that's the host. This is the server driver. Oh, the driver? Yeah. He does. All right, I'm going to take his cog. I'm going to pretend to be but a doesn't, server. He doesn't have access to the train, though. Mm. Are you going to try to hack that one now? Let's try to hack that one. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. my gosh. <laughs> We're back up to plus 10. So you're at plus 20 total. <laughs> how many degrees of, of success? Five. Okay, that's how many. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. All right, so you hack this guy, <laughs> and you you don't change his identity. You just give it access to the mag train back to your to your, your place. Put this on. <laughs> All right, I'm now a servitor. <laughs> <laughs> don't make eye contact and don't talk. Just say beep, beep, boop. <laughs> beep, beep. Roger, roger. <laughs> 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 okay, so now you have the servitors. You're, you're hiding yours, I'm assuming. Yep. Like in your coat pocket or something. I keep it close by, but it's instead of safe. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not working anymore. Um, and so now you're wearing the servitor's cog, which now is... So you've essentially achieved your, your desire of changing his identity. Mm-hmm. But now anybody who scans it, who knows what they're doing, will be like, hey, you're not a servitor, but we'll cross That's that bridge. That's his problem. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, so you guys are... I don't know, you're probably about 20, 25 minute walk. Away from the egg train. All right. Are you gonna make it? Oh. <laughs> You're like, I gotta move my legs. Right. This is the drive back. Right. We can Hello take food. the 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 truck. Take the truck back. In fact, it's now. Let me oh, we'll start. Now the now driver has no cog. Yeah, the driver has no cog. We to gotta walk again. <laughs> we gotta walk it. <laughs> you just took his driver's license away. <laughs> Give me your broken one today. Make it work for him. Oh, jeez. No, we're done. It's broken. You don't get to try that one again. You, I gave you plenty of chances. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm fully within my right to be like, no, <laughs> you are done, sir. Ah, oh, my truck's broken, guys. Yeah, you can't drive well, your truck anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, I start walking towards the tram. Train. Yeah. Trains are awesome. I try my best to figure out how to act as a server. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> well, Do the beep, robot. Beep. 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 <laughs> Roger, Roger, beep, beep, <laughs> beep. I, look, I, look, I try to look dead face. That's his penance. <laughs> yeah, is your penance. Does it make you guys feel better now? A little bit. Yeah, a little we bit. don't have to gag him anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to talk, man. <laughs> you're no longer a volunteer deputy sanctionary because your cog doesn't say so. I still want to be one inside. <laughs> 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 not some of those corrupt bad boys, though. Okay, so we head towards the bag train, and... Okay, as you approach, you see that the megatron you're coming to is actually one station away from the manufacturer. And uh, there are no sanctionaries nice. starting it at this point. So you're going to get on board? Oh, yeah. Yep. Right back on we yep. go. Uh, what order are you going to go on? Him first. No. Him first? No! I'm the no! <laughs> I'll, I'll go first. Nice. So I'll you just kind of push your way through? Yeah, and you guys can hide behind me. It's fine. All right. So you walk up, and there's a little scanner thing that you hold your cog up to. One second. Be like, nope. You should be at and work you get right some sort of, There's a little thing. tarot thing that arrives that you know how to read. It means, yes, go ahead, proceed. Yeah. It'd be equivalent to like a green light, except you know, it's a tarot because the future is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you walk in. Who's next? I vote Luca. I'm going in. You just, you just push your way yeah. through as he's thinking about it? Yeah. All right, you scan it. Boop. You're in. I'm going to Who's next? Okay, I'll go. You go? Just... No, I want to go next. <laughs> Not too bad. You go? I'm going next. Scan. Mm. And you go in. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go get Who's next? Me. Are you going to push him forward? So you're going to stay at the back? He's going to get trapped behind with me. <laughs> 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 All right. So, scans. 
and you're good. Beep, beep, boom. Beep, I don't say yeah, anything. I just. You know, don't you talk back to it in your machine language? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I was going to make you make a linguistics check for that. No. You're going to go up, mm-hmm. you scan it. Uh oh, he. I knew it. I should have. <laughs> well, you, you bye, guys. He resisted arrest. <laughs> From the train. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down. I don't pay attention. I am a servitor. <laughs> what do you do? Why did nobody think Just of walk through, pretend I didn't notice it. As you walk, no, the, the, the bar is in the way. You can't walk through. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back off the train if I can. You're gonna walk off the train yeah. to the other exit? Yeah. This is the entrance to the exit. You yeah, can't yeah. walk out the entrance. Okay, I'll go the exit. So you go through the exit? You just gonna leave the train. Okay. Yeah. So you scan the cog on the way out? Yeah. Okay. What are you gonna do? Can I hop the bar? Or is it like a full-on thing that I just I'm, can't walk? It's like a bunch of bars. Oh. And look, beep. <coughs> just gonna wave you with the rest of And you don't want to be stuck in between them when they close. Gotcha. It, it won't try not to have any safety features. <laughs> gotcha. All right, I'm going to try and... Think of that old lady doesn't make it through. I'm sorry. That's how they deal with done. criminals. You know what? I'm already well, in trouble. That's how they pair off the people that get too old to get through in time. I'm already in trouble at this point. I'm going to try and hack it really quick. You're going to try to hack it? <laughs> yeah. I have security. So. Okay. How are you going to try to hack it? Are you going to try to like hold up your cog and then like do something with it? Okay, so you hold up the cog and you get your tools ready and then it goes... And then it passes. Dang it. Oh. oh that was Just simple. Okay. It's actually happened to you a lot of times. Your cog seems to act up a lot. Just a glitch. But in the moment, you forgot that. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're you're good. good. You're, through. you're through. Now you're out. You want to try to get back in? I don't know. From the train, <laughs> from the train I point. Ha! <laughs> you stay behind you now as you go through. Trying to be helpful. Walking back to the entrance. Grab my wallet. <laughs> get back on. It passes. Okay, yeah, get back on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you all get on the mag train. You sit down. And you designate the spots. Yep. Where's his spot? Server so seat. Same spot. Same thing. Oh, right. <laughs> You're sleeping already. Yeah. <laughs> He's already asleep. <laughs> well, it doesn't actually check your spot, so you're okay just to sit there. It's a, it, you know, sometimes patrols come through and make sure you're in the right spot, but if there's nobody, like, contesting your spot, then there's no reason for them to check. I'm going to go back into normal mode, because no, I don't think I need to be a server at this moment. All right, and then the train takes off. <laughs> the servo skulls are flying through. Now, um, who has a logic skill? I do. Anybody else have the logic skill? <coughs> I wish I did. Nope. Mm-mm. All right, I want you to make a challenging plus zero logic test. No, I feel by four. Okay. All right, so you continue on your way. So you're all in the train. Any conversations you want to have? Any nope. words to be given? I have I still nothing hate you. to I, I have never liked you. <laughs> I have. Uh, I am terrified fighting my inner demons. I'm stressed out. I assume T neck looks sickly still. I keep rubbing the back of my neck. Why do you keep rubbing your neck? It's just it's bad sore neck. From so, what? I, I haven't been sleeping well. Why are you talking like a servitor? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'm not. I'm not. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Get my human voice back. Do you know anything about the outbreak from your parents? What? You all have some experience. Yeah, we should talk about this outbreak, right? I don't know anything about this outbreak. I don't know why the sanctionaries are interested in this outbreak. They shouldn't be. Would I know what faction would be involved with an outbreak? Yeah, the one that's over the disease, disease control. So disease the combination control. of the Arbides, they would be the ones policing it, while there's the disease control equivalent, you know, basically the people that come around and... Mm-hmm. In their suits. And, and take care of everybody. Take care. Oh, I just With realized fire. I stole my hazmat suit from work. <laughs> Fuck this way over here. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna take it off? Yeah, it's my, it's like, it's my like, coat, my jacket. Yeah, so even though you're like, you're like re- take off your restraints it's a little bit. It's for work only. So obvious. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, Tanek here is uh, quite ill, and uh, okay. they're talking about an outbreak. Oh, what's going on, buddy? What happened? Hmm? Hmm? I think it is fair to share with the group that I'm not feeling so hot. There we go. I had a messed up dream last night. Woke up in a terrible sweat. I've been coughing up blood all day. The day before, it was fine. Totally felt fine. Now you guys all recognize this as symptoms that you felt overnight and this morning, minus the coughing of blood. 
Oh, so you're just suffering way more of it than we Yeah, like, because okay. like, you all remember. All I'm not saying you have to share it. I'm saying that you all remember you had nightmares last night, had a hard time, woke up in paste? a sweat, and didn't feel very good. I'm not, I got no appetite. You don't want any paste? I don't. Um, I still you want some of this. It's so good, though. Save you some paste. <clears throat> Thank you. I, I also couldn't sleep very well last night. No. Why are you holding your neck? It's, I, it's, it's sore. You got, like, what? like, a bug bite back there? No. <laughs> How good is your deceive? Cause nope, <laughs> nothing's wrong with me. Anybody, have, anybody have scrutiny? Yes, I do. You do. Just, mm-hmm. do a, just do an ordinary or a challenging plus zero scrutiny check. What level of scrutiny do you have? One. One. So just for your perception then, or less. Nope. nope. Okay. You can't tell that he's lying. Oh. You're convinced. Basically. So from one deceiver to another, I can't tell he's lying. Right. Scrutiny is the opposite of deceive. Like, oh. awareness is the opposite of stealth. You use awareness to go against stealth. Scrutiny, you use to go against deceive. Mm. So it's their way of scrutinizing. So you can actually, at any point, I, if I say something as an NPC, you can be like, I'm just going to do a scrutinized test, and then I actually have to tell you if you pass it, if he's lying or not. Mm. Cause, uh, and I can tell you degrees of difficulty, depending on... Because uh, if, he, if the NPC knows deceive, then I could do a deceive check, and whoever makes theirs by more wins that. So, and I won't tell you if I made mine by more. I'll just tell you the result, and then you have to decide if you believe me or not. So I, I just so you got to scrutinize the GM. I just shared the, the group that I am coughing up blood and sick with this probable disease, and I'm hearing crickets. He's got the black. You're hearing crickets. He's got the black lung. I'm also <laughs> hearing violins. <laughs> black lungs. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> I'm sick too. Oh, sorry, dude. That's my beard. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's blood in your hey, beard now. I offered you some paste. Just, uh, my bad. I'm not a medic. I don't know what to do. I'm going to shove him. Yeah, shove wow. Him. No. Okay. No. <laughs> Glad you clarified. I'm going to shove him. It's okay if you don't have any more discussion to do. We can narrative time this forward, but if you yep. want to keep talking about stuff and try to figure out things, that's up to you. Can I ask to see the back? I want to see the back of your neck. because we both see the back of my neck for? It's so weird. <laughs> it's that's curious. just odd request. <laughs> I know. Well, because we're both sick. We're both suffering. All right, Dave, make, yeah. another, make another scrutiny test. Here you go. I'm not very pale. <laughs> Can I see the back you're, of your You're not even like, thinking about that. All of a sudden, your mind went to the woman that you're in love with. Uh, would he actually have the symbol on the back of his neck? What's oh, that? You. Would he... Oh, it's just me who has the symbol? Can hold on, hold on. Did you show him the back of your yeah, neck? Yeah, I showed him. Okay. He does. Oh, I do. Oh. You have it too. I have what? I show you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It's an uh, uppercase and lowercase T but it's from like, an archaic now language. Look at it, now, the way it looks on the back of his neck, because it doesn't look like a tattoo. It looks more like a burn mark. A in brand? A, in a, in a, almost like a brand in a very, very specific pattern. And yeah, you can feel it too. How about you? You can, you, can feel the, you can feel the ridge where it is. You, you can't have see it too. It, you can feel it. Do I have it too? You do. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> do I have one too? Does he have one? He does. He totally does. <laughs> what about Kanto? Y'all cannot look at the back of my neck. Just deal with your own thing. You probably have it too. Well, I probably, probably have it. <laughs> We're going to hold you down. Does my sister. That. I don't know. Is Let's go here? find out. I'm, I, from memory. You didn't pass your awareness test this morning. Oh. It would have popped up this morning. Right? Okay. Yeah. Do I recognize this I'm mark? not saying that she does or does not. I'm just saying that you don't know the answer to that question. Okay. Do I recognize this mark? No. You're sure? I haven't seen it on the sister. <clears throat> no. Have you checked your neck? Are you checking your neck? Are you going to check your neck? Okay, check my neck. I'm not saying you have to. Yes, I checked. He has it too. You have um, it too. Did we all get wasted and get really weird tattoos? <laughs> 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 it does sound likely. I don't. It's our mm-hmm. gang, the team. <laughs> I'm so oh, the team. The team. The team. The team. <laughs> <laughs> that team? is awesome. <laughs> the team is lowercase for some reason. <laughs> the team. Or maybe it's two uppercase T's on top of each other. I can't. Oh, the team! The team! This, this got deep. All of a sudden, you guys like each other a lot more. I still don't like him. Plus one influence. Everybody. No, I'm just joking. Really? No. Oh, that's a huge increase. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have influence now. Yeah, if we go from zero to one. <laughs> if those of you who are, aware of, uh, are familiar with Dark Heresy's influence, these guys all have zero. So they can't just no. go out and acquire stuff. Well, one percent chance of actually making the roll. Well, that's if it's no modifier. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> if it's anything that's harder than common, then yeah, you're gonna find them. Okay, uh, I say we go back to the have block. Yep, figure yep. out what's up. Well, this thing is Everybody make an out. awareness plus zero test. Remember, if you don't have it, it's minus 20. Mm. No. Nope. I am aware of nothing. I am aware of nothing. No, no, no. Nobody. 
Please. What are your degrees of failure? It's four. Uh, four. Two. Two. Wait, I don't know if I have awareness. Three. So minus 20, so six actually for me. I failed by six, so I don't have awareness. Failed by eight. Jeez oh, Louise, guys. Oh, wait, no, it's you that has awareness. I do. How much do you fail by? Two. And two as well? Three. Three? three. Eight. Jeez. <laughs> He's chewing his ear. Where are we? <laughs> okay, so degrees of failure two, two, two. two. That's our best one, which means... Okay. Uh, so you're getting closer to home. Nice. You're probably about... It's almost at the deceleration process, so you're probably about 30 minutes away from home. And as you're going along, and you're just about to hit the deceleration process, you notice some sanctionaries oh. walking down the train, scanning cogs. Ugh. But they're pretty close. <laughs> I, I panic and go into robot mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just... Oh, man. Like, okay, how close? They're pretty close. Maybe we can block the eye. Which, which way are they coming? Towards, like, this way? Like, up the train or, or back... Or, or like, towards the back of the train? Will they get to Luca first? Uh, no, they're coming from the front of the train. So, yeah, they get to Luca and Steve. They're first. just oh. simply walking. No, they're scanning cogs on their way. Oh. Who, who am I sitting beside? Just, <laughs> the, 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 who am I sitting no, beside? Me. They're just am I walking. Sitting beside no, you? They're not. <laughs> you can see them checking, and every once in a while. Now that okay, first off, you guys are not aware of this. I so, am. It's really just a conversation with Luca. Yes. So you've seen them scan, and every once in a while, they they actually yank somebody out of their seat and pull them forward. Oh my gosh! Oh, they're all from this hat block. <gasps> Bad things can happen to those who live there. No, this is these people aren't all from your hat block. Okay, I'm gonna. That nudge. would have been the train at the end of the day, at the end of your work. Oh, day. it's true. I'm going to nudge. These ones, these ones could be going beyond. Whoever, whoever is beside me is getting an elbow. You're, you're where you're sitting is where right. you're sitting on the train. What? What? Sanctionaries. You guys notice I'm doing this. I point to Sanctionaries. And I so you guys look boom. over and you can see Sanctionaries scanning. Beep boop. <laughs> so one piece of knowledge that you have that you don't have to use, I'm just going to give it to you, is um, <laughs> this operates much like a... Yeah, we're, we're good for time. We're just about done. This operates much like a train or a bus like here where you can hit like stop button, and it'll be like, next stop, please. That kind of thing. Oh, there's actual stops. Oh, oh they're not so much stops as say, they are dump-off points. We are, like, let off at 1,000 kilometers yeah. an hour. Come <laughs> 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 the, the, She's just like, the back opens up. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, can, they can make faster stops if they have to. It's very, they're very critical and they're very sudden, but they can make faster stops. I pull the cord. <laughs> also, you hear, you can take them? also you hear and you feel the brakes applied and the sanctionaries start to lose shot their footing <laughs> they both they died were <laughs> they weren't wearing seatbelts yeah, they, 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 you can see them flying forward with all the people that they've taken out of their seats and for the next five <laughs> minutes you have a deceleration don't do the math <laughs> and so you're just holding out of your seats wow this is an awkward five minutes <laughs> That was not five minutes. Yeah, no, I, I speeded it up. Oh. Narrative time. Narrative time. And it stops. I get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys I get do? up and leave. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to boogie woogie. Getting off the train. I'm going to stay on the train until I realize they're leaving, then I get off. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, you. <laughs> There's so many things I'll say yes to. <laughs> you just drive off, and I'm like, well, I do it now. All right, so you all get off the train, and as you get out, you actually are getting close to your hab block because you know it still took five minutes for it to decelerate to this point. And as you're as you're heading out, you do get out without any issue, and there's no sanctionaries at this checkpoint. And as you head towards your hab block, off in the distance, you can actually see that they have set up a quarantine, and they're not. And you can see the the sanctionaries amongst other uniformed people um, blocking the way back to your hab block. And this is where. I will have you. Actually, everybody can make a common lore Desilian Primus check. Uh, it'll just be challenging plus zero. But remember, you get your plus twenty. Mm -hmm. I am not even sure what plan I'm on. I you did not pass. It. Did not pass. I rolled a seventy-nine. I needed a fifty-five. Anybody failed pass? by seven. Hey, failed by seven. Okay, so that means we're gonna end the adventure right here. <laughs> and you're all dead. Should have rolled I'm better. Just, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, we're gonna stop right here because we're out of time. So for this episode, we're out of time. We're going to have to come back next week, or whenever we post the next episode, to find out what happens to them next as they approach their hab block. So thanks so much for watching. Of course, if you're watching this ahead of time, we'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear everybody's feedback, but 
uh, yours in particular for our backers so that we can make, make changes as quickly as possible before changes. our next episode. But I hope that you enjoyed that and there's going to be more to come. Thanks so much for watching Blue Collar Heresy. Happy work, Amy. <laughs>